Hello and welcome to the Front End Horse live stream. Thank you so much for being here. We have Lazar. Uh, I am thrilled to have you on the show. Um, we've got some fantastic people already in chat. Uh, I'm I, I'm really really excited to learn about Chakra UI. Uh, but first, before we get into that, would you mind uh, telling the chat a little bit about yourself for people who might not know who you, who you are? And yeah, that is an awesome shirt. Great point, Mike. <laughs> that is a dope shirt. I, I yeah. didn't even notice it until you just said it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alex, for having me. Um, yeah. I'm Lazar. I'm a dev rel at uh, Chakra UI. Uh, by the day, I work at a company called CodeCam. Uh, you know, after... In my free time, I am trying my best to, you know, introduce the world to Chakra UI and, you know, just make it easier for all of the developers to, you know, to 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 make cool stuff with it, right? So uh, I make YouTube videos. Uh, um, I I haven't streamed like in in months. Hard to keep maybe... up with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm 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 also more. Uh, I'm also more active in the Discord, in the Chakra UI's Discord channel, and yeah. Awesome, AJ, man. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Lucy, thank you so much for that sub. Super, super kind. Three months. Wow. Thank you. That is so, so generous. Um, yeah. Anthony says he's been missing your streams and he's stoked to learn about Chakra. Been hearing about it forever, but I never tried it out. Yeah. I am right there with you. I have heard so much buzz about Chakra. People absolutely love it. Uh, my friend... Dem D Demetrius just like will not stop raving about it. Lots of other people, I'm sure, um, that that like I've, I've I've heard. He's just the one that comes to mind immediately when I think of Chakra. I think like Dom yeah. is just crazy for it. Um, yeah, it, it's so. What 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 is it? Is is it like uh, an alternative to SAS? Is it um, more like Tailwind? Like like what what is Chakra e exactly? And I'll bring up the uh, the site to kind of help us out with with this exp ex yeah. explanation here exactly yeah so uh you you can't really compare sas and tailwind to chakra because uh chakra is basically a collection of you know accessible components uh built for react and we also have a view version of chakra as well uh so what it gives you is the essential you know building tools to uh you know to build your app Right, uh, like uh, some layout components, like UI components like buttons and inputs and you know selects and everything. So in a nutshell, that is uh, Chakra UI. It also, for example, takes care of the accessibility for you, so you nice. don't have to always add you know the area, uh, you know uh, props and labels and stuff. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Oh, that's wonderful. And it's also yeah, uh, it, personally, you know. Uh, People might think that I'm biased, yeah, but I, I started using Chakra before right. I became a Chakra, uh, you know, core member, and I think I will definitely keep on using Chakra even for for some reason I'm I'm not anymore. But yeah, I, I love working <laughs> it because you know the it, it allows me to to work faster, and you know the end result is just it's just beautiful. That's awesome. So once you kind of like understand the system, understand the components, understand like I'm, I'm, yeah, like you, you've, you've got a box component, and I think that's like a key part to it, right? Like, like that yeah. components used pretty often. It's like once you understand how to use like these different layout components, um, you're able to yeah. move very quickly and piece things together in in this like modular kind of way. Um, but you also have some great features uh, that seem really handy. Like, so is color mode um, like a dark mode? Sort of thing. Yeah, it is awesome. Yeah. So, so that yeah, that's can... like built into sh sh Chakra, so that I don't have to like ro roll my own Im implementation of that. Yeah, 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 definitely. And uh, the beauty is, it for example, you can just toggle dark and light with just a single line of code. Uh, there's a there's a hook called uh, you, can, you can scroll down. Use color mode that will give you uh, a, a bit more. There we go. I don't know. Wait a minute. More a bit more you can see that there's a uh, an entry right there in the in the legend use color mode so that will give you a toggle color mode method and you can you know uh, get any button on your uh, website engine do the on click there you go got it there it is okay so it, so 
Yeah, so you can try it. You can click the toggle dark and it'll turn to oh, dark. Oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome. That's I, I love yeah. interactive things like that. That's fantastic. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, and that's yeah. just yeah, simple ternary for the syntax. That's great. Awesome. Yeah, so um, what other kinds of features? Because like, I, I don't think we're going to get into the dark mode feature today just because we, we've already got a lot on the plate. Um, yeah, yeah. But you got some CSS variables that we can now use. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So is that just kind of like you set that up in like a JSON file and we're able to use those? Oh, it prefixes it with, with Chakra? Yeah, and you can configure that. For example, you can, uh, I don't know, you can place instead of Chakra, you can place your project name. Uh, but all of the design tokens are exported as CSS variables uh, for you, even the ones that you overwrite, right? Even your own design tokens. So you can you can use it. For example, I've been using uh, the CSS variables in a library. I think it was called uh, Survey.js, right? So it renders okay. uh, it renders surveys and forms. Uh, you give it a just a simple JSON okay. uh, uh, file that uh, it itself you know generates for you. Uh, and then you can then you can add some custom styles and and stuff, right? Right. And instead of uh, instead of uh, I don't know creating new components and then replacing them, I can just you know uh, create a a simple class, use the CSS variables, and feed them to Survey.js, and then I got um, then I got Chakra styling in Survey.js, right? So it's not just the components that uh, you can uh, use and import from Chakra. You also got the variables, so you can you know you can create some custom styles for third party um, packages. Yeah, like well, Survey JS. Right? That's fantastic. Honestly, one of my biggest like headaches with with um, you know similar things to Chakra is um, everything works great inside the system, but as soon as I want to use that color or or that spacing kind of thing. Outside, like if, if if for whatever reason I have to write some custom CSS somewhere, getting that color, I then need to use like a, 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 a hex code or I need to set up the CSS variables by myself. The fact that yeah. you export it already for me is like, it seems small, but this is fantastic. That's, that's a really, really handy thing to have because um, I've definitely had to do this manually more than a few times. So yeah. love that feature. That's great. Um, cool. I, I feel like we could go on and on about like all the features, but I think what's going to really help it kind of click with, with people, uh, is seeing us build with it. So I'm, I'm really excited to get into it. You've put together, um, like I, I want to say your shirt is, is not a lie. You've designed a really, really slick, uh, UI or page. Uh, I don't even know what to call it, but, uh, yeah. let's show people what, what we're going to be building today. Because this awesome, is yeah. just gorgeous. Um, it's so it, it's, so it's basically like an Airbnb style page, right? So we've got like our heading here. We've got our uh, like our metadata, like our information, the number of reviews, the location, um, the you know the details ab about the house. We've got some breadcrumbs here. Got a few different buttons for sharing, for liking, etc. Go home. Got a nice little gallery here. Um, you've got some details, like a description, like a rich text area. Um, you've got the user avatar, uh, like a form. So the, are these date fields then? Uh, they, no, uh, for example, check your doesn't come with a, with a date picker itself. Uh, okay. cause you know, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, the date picker itself is a, huge it's a hefty thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Those, yeah. those are big. Yeah. So, yeah, so uh, I, I I haven't prototyped these yet. Uh, no worries. I haven't made them yet. Yeah, but uh, I for now I made them as a menu. Cool. So that what what you're seeing right now is a menu button, right? But when you Got click, it. yeah, you can for example you can show up the a custom menu with with a date picker inside with a few more forms like maybe you can pick the time as well, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But yeah, pr pretty much that's the imagination. We we still haven't you know uh, implemented this. Cool. No, that's totally fine. I, I completely agree with you. I've had to like handle sites with dates and stuff a lot. They're usually yeah. like, like 
an entire like, like they're usually like one person's life work where they've like spent months and months and months trying to perfect this date picker and it still breaks on iOS Safari, right? Like like there's still yeah. there's still problems with yeah. it. Date pickers are are tricky. Um so yeah, uh and, and then we've we've got some details at the bottom. We got these nice looking cards. Um just a really slick page that I'm really excited to build out. Um and we're going to make it responsive time willing, right? Yeah. So um, we 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 might have to jump ahead in some spots, but I'm super excited for that. Um, and just put in, input type date and call it a day. Honestly, I totally agree, Lucy. Yeah, like we can just lean on the on the browser for this. Is it the prettiest? Is it going to uh, look perfect on or, or look the same on all browsers? No, but for today, it's it's perfect. Um, Okay, so with with heart answers, uh, Anthony's question. So Anthony asked, is Chakra less for functionality and more for pure styling? And with heart says Chakra is accessibility plus functionality plus styling. Would you say that that, that, that that's accurate? Yeah, I mean he's he's uh, he's been an older core member than me, so I, I should cool. definitely trust this guy. I f I, f <laughs> I figured with heart, welcome. Um, I I you know, it seemed like that that. Might be a follow core member, but uh, what was not possible. Um, but so we we do have some form um, things here. We just don't have a date one because that is pretty hefty, right? Like, like, like that is its its own kind of thing that people um, really do write entire things around. But these form fields look, look great, kind of like out out of the box. You got icon buttons. You got a whole bunch of different components that I'm really excited to get into. You got typography components, overlays. Pretty much anything that someone's going to need to build out a modern web app, right? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, even even some more. For example, you. I'm, I'm not sure if you noticed. There's like a keyboard uh, component. If you scroll down a bit more down. Oh right. Um, where? No. What, is it at there the we bottom? go. Uh, no, just a bit more up. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. You can see, for example, there's like a miscellaneous uh, components. For example, like like the keyboards, right? And there's a there's also a cool editable. Uh, if you search for it, Keyboard. it's KBD. No, just KBD. The, yeah, KBD. it basically shows a little. There we go. Yeah, it right. It shows a little keyboard, right? Yeah, super handy for but blogs yeah. and that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's also the editable component, which I really like. It's uh, basically initially is uh, is a label, but if you click on it, it turns into an input. Got it. Right. Interesting. Yeah, you can also have some custom controls. Like, for example, there's an edit button that enables it. So you have the uh, check and uh, cancel, right? Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, lots of stuff built in that, like, I then don't have to take care of. Um, like, I could definitely see someone picking this up and using this on their personal developer blog and getting some nice functionality out of the box on things like this. Yeah, definitely. Really, really cool. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, we've got our setup. What I did once you sent me this is I went ahead and uh, tried to make this kind of like as realistic to people as possible. Um, granted, this this kind of a thing would, would more come from like a database, but uh, I popped it into Prismic um, for a, a, you know, as, as a headless CMS and I made slices out of it using a slice machine. I'll just kind of show our slices real quick. Um, so we've got a, a header and image gallery property details the what's included and things to know, and it kind of matches up to most of these. Um, and so our, our slices are basically like this top part, uh, this image gallery is its own slice and we just uploaded a bunch of images to it. Um, some description details. Uh, these cards are, are a, a, a slice and then the things to know is a slice. And so um, we've got just the, the data that apl applies to the whole listing and you are the host, right? Um, and then uh, we've got the header, which gives us like the title, the location, the rating. Clearly, this is not how you would do it if you were, you know, if Airbnb is not back there doing the math and then changing the number, right? But that, that's how we're doing it today. Um, review count, guest count, those sorts of things that you, you had at the top there. Um, I didn't do the icon just because there wasn't like a whole lot to do with that. I think we'll do that kind of ourselves. Um, I've uploaded these images that, that you sent me some gorgeous, I, is this a real place by the way, or is this just like a, a good looking Airbnb you found nearby? 
Yeah, uh, it, it's not my place. I mean, okay. I wish. But I was going to yeah, say, because like, uh, hey, man, <laughs> if if we're tight after this call, maybe uh, I come vacation and... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's not. I, I just just found it on Airbnb. Yeah, yeah. really cool. And I'm good also place, though. not from from Serbia, though. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so we we've got the gallery as a slice, uh, the property details, guest access. Uh, so that's a rich text field that we're pulling in. Uh, we have the full price, the sale price, um, and then just the 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 rest of it, pretty much. So yeah, I just built this out um, in Slice Machine uh, with all these different kinds of data types. And so now we've got uh, a really crappy version of what you have. And so like the idea is to kind of come in. Um, we've already got the stuff here. Let's make it look nice. Let's make it so that these components are re, re like it's built with reusable components. Uh, might be based off a theme. I'm not sure. Like I, I assume we're going to install a font, right? Um, and some some other nice touches or. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and we cool. we we also have a, a custom color for our thing. You know, you can see the purple. Uh, it doesn't come built in with Chakra, and we're not going to override the purple, so we'll just name it as a brand color, right? And we're awesome. going to use brand dot five hundred, etc. Cool. So yeah. All right. So yeah, uh, that's that's pretty much what like that's all I'm bringing to this. The rest, uh, I'm cool. I'm excited to learn Chakra, man. So uh, cool. Let's get into it. Um, yeah. I'll bring up the actual uh, project. So we've got this, we've got pretty much every every one of those components is in our slices folder here. I'll make this bigger for the chat. That should be uh -huh. good, I think. Right, well, and, and, and for you as well. Um, and yeah, so I guess we should start top down probably. So this is all inside the, the header or, or, or rather we, we should probably start by installing Chakra, right? Yeah, definitely. Cool. All right, so uh, let's head over here. Um, what do I hit? We're, we're using an N NPM. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. so first we would like to uh, install the, the packages, right? Cool. Uh, and there are like four of them, so maybe you should just uh, copy paste the, the cool. command from let's the Chakra UI website. Yeah. Uh, and good. initially we're going to install some additional packages uh, to you know confirm to the design. Cool. And we'll set up a, a provider as well. Yeah. Cool. In our uh, app DSX file. Yeah. Sounds so great. You can, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we're going to install the also the font source package for the nice. for the font. Cool. Uh, that is slash uh, Josephine Sans with a dash. Nice. Uh, and also React icons because that's where I pull the icons from. I love React icons, and I, I I did already add it just to get those those icons in there. Um, it nice. is a awesome. it is a wonderful library. Uh, I was I was yeah. happy to see you using it. Um, and just for the chat, uh, we are using Next JS here in case I didn't mention that. Um, so yeah, we got a nice little Next JS Chakra and Prismic stack going. Um, cool. We installed it. So now uh, npm i is it font is it at font source? Do you uh, know? Yeah, at, at font source slash Joseph in sense with a dash. J O S E F I N. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Sense. There we go. All right. Nice. Yeah. It's a great font. Yeah. Oh. Uh, honestly, the design on this is just really great. Awesome. I Thank was, you. I was, I was, I was pumped as soon as I saw it. And the fact that we're going to like, like the fact that you've, you've, you've got the chops to do both to design that, um, and, code it out i'm yeah yeah i'm i'm impressed all right so we've, we've got everything set up we've got our packages installed let me just go check yep looking good chakra motion awesome. font source great nice yeah so let's override the app dsx file now yeah um, if, if you haven't already done that there we go yeah we've got something in there already but we can add it in so yeah we can import the chakra provider cool. from Chakra UI React. All right. Yeah. And then we'll just wrap the components. And pretty much that's it. Sounds uh, good. Yeah, this uses the, uh, this current setup uses the default theme that, you know, comes with Chakra UI. Uh, but if we wanted to, you know, bring our own theme, uh, we would need to uh, create our theme file. Okay. And then pass that theme uh, import to the chakra provider as the theme prop, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Got it. If you want, we can, you know, set it up now and we can, you know, just 
start to you know build some stuff into the theme as we go yeah that's fine that sounds great so like a theme file is kind of like a json file that we can it's a, specify it's a js colors. it's a js file yeah. cool it's a js file yeah so we can create the theme.js there is a there's a method that we want we want to import okay. yeah there we go uh it, yeah so let's import the extent theme it's a named export from chakra ui extent theme oh, with lowercase cool e there you go i got yeah. saved by autocomplete so, yeah uh so yeah we can just create the theme uh variable here that you know uses the extent theme uh it's uh it has the, you know the first argument would be uh yeah, extend theme, exactly. Uh, yeah, the first argument will be our overrides, right? So we can put our custom colors and and everything. Like that? Uh, no, 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 not, yeah, not, not overrides, but our overrides. So basically, yeah, just an empty object for now. Got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then we can, and of course, yeah, you, you got a mean autocomplete, so it also tells you you that's, can override that's the all, colors. Uh, and that's all a AI, man. That's uh, that's code, yeah, or co co-pilot coming in handy. Hey Steph, welcome. Uh, cool. So we got color. L look at that. It it knows a chakra project when it sees it, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's pretty wild. Yeah. So yeah, we'll 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 be doing this, you know, uh, as we go through the components and as we build stuff. Right now, we don't actually need anything, but it, you know, I, I'd like to have the foundation for my custom theme even at the beginning. So yeah, we can just export the theme uh, variable here. Yeah, and then we can go back to the app, import it, and you know, pass as, it to the chakra provider as a default. It doesn't matter. I usually do it as a default. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. So we can import it here, and then just cool. Nice. And now pass it to the chakra provider, and that's it. We we have our custom theme here. It's exactly like the default theme because we still haven't overridden overridden anything. But yeah, that's, that's oh, how you up. inject your own, you know, design tokens. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, awesome. I think you have a, a semicolon there on line six. Line six. Good call. I don't know how that got there. Oh, nice. Looks like it wants to. There we go. All right. Cool. Awesome. Now, yeah, we can we can run this now. We can we will see some of the you know some changes yeah, uh, happening. We... I think we are yeah we definitely did so we got yep. some font changing uh mm -hmm. yeah those are the global styles kicking in right makes sense cool awesome yeah so we can start with the with the header i guess right sure awesome. yeah so I'll head over to there uh so i i honestly whipped this up kind of fast last night and this morning but um Got like a little top nav thing just for the go home and the um, the breadcrumbs. So if, if right, okay, we, we want to hit those. Yeah, that sounds. Uh, but first, we do need to use the container, right? Because by okay. the, the the Figma design, we we have everything contained in the Got center, it. right? So what is our top level page? I think it's the index JS, right? Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be this UID because um, we. I, I, I set it up so that like you uh -huh. can theoretically have multiple properties yeah, and fetch it. It, it would be exactly. awesome. Cool. Yeah, so yeah. Right so here. let's yeah, let's just grab the uh let's just grab the container component from Chakra UI React and wrap our whole page with it. Uh so that would yeah, that that'll just, you know, um yeah, from is it at chakra? At chakra. Yeah. Cool. All right, and wrap the whole page. Exactly. Yeah, wrap the whole page uh, with the container, and we're going to set the max width, right? So judging, I mean, based on the design, our page is uh, 1280 pixels. Okay. Right. Uh, so you can pass the the max W or max width. That's like a shorthand prop. Like that. Uh, with a, yeah, just just a capital W and without the dash. Ah, makes sense. Cool. Yeah. So. Max W. That would be container dot XL. Okay. Do I do that in in brackets or in quotes? No, no, no. Just just, just as a string, and I'll okay. I'll show you. Yeah. So container dot. Oh. There you go. Dot. Okay. Auto completed. Cool. XL. Yeah. So let's go back to the chakra page. Yeah. So this is going to contain everything, right? If we wow. refresh, we can see that 
we yeah. got the 12 you know 1280 yeah uh compare that, here and that one's set awesome. to something else so yeah we'll fix that later but that's that's perfect okay so yeah. we're going to container yeah uh not not the container but go to the default pay, default theme there you go you can see it yeah and you can scroll down to the sizes uh section you can see that at the bottom Got so it. this is the default theme right um and at the bottom you can see there's a container object inside right. and there is the xl value which is 1280 exactly what we need right perfect awesome, awesome. yeah so it, it comes from there yeah got it and then this is the rest of like our spacing and everything so that we're not just throwing random values like 21 pixels yeah. and then 26 pixels or whatever but we're <laughs> exactly. we're, we're yeah. building off of a structured um sensible kind of system yeah, yeah, it it is a design system basically with right. React implementation. Right, yeah. and and if if mine doesn't match this, I can change that in that theme file, correct? Yeah, yeah, awesome. exactly. Cool. All right, great. Right, so so we got the container now. Uh, what we can do is pretty much set the um uh, the top and bottom. For example, if you go back to the Figma, you'll see there's a forty pixel space above and and below the content. Got it. Uh, you cannot actually yeah uh, should open up uh actual figma file let me let me yeah, log you can in log off in. screen real quick yeah give me one sec yeah i just yeah, turned so, it off screen because uh, i never know never know yeah. if you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah so but basically how we can do that is uh add the py prop right so padding on the y-axis cool top and bottom and then we'll add 10 to it as a number in in in, in brackets Perfect. So okay, let's yeah. see if I can. Yeah. So it's saying forty-eight from like the center. Forty-eight. Forty. But yeah. There there's the cool. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So let's just you know quickly do that because this is basically the page wrapper, right? So we'll do py uh, cool. equals uh, and then no in in brackets as ah, a number, fault. right? And then we'll say ten. So uh, what the hell is this, right? This is the uh the key of the design token that's that already comes with chakra ui right got it and everything is is divisible 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 by four yeah, yeah. Got so it. our pixel value is 40 right so we'll divide it by four and that would be number 10 right got it and okay. that's how yeah that's how the the spacing scale goes interesting right? yeah okay cool yeah, so yeah, PY is, uh, I mean, 10 is 40 pixels, right? If we say 6, that will be 24 pixels, right? Right. I'm just getting rid of that yeah. so we can actually see the, the legitimate value. Cool. Awesome. All right, yeah. nice. All um, right, yeah. Now, I think now we're ready to go and, you know, uh, fix the fix the header or the navigation at the top. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so we're in the top nav. I've got my little go home <laughs> link and I've got my little breadcrumb set up. So I'm just mapping over... The list that comes in and uh, spitting that out, so we can fix this up with some, so with some chakra. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's let's uh, import the let's import the H stack, a horizontal stack, H stack from Chakra UI, and we can use that to uh, cool. you know to to stack the the button and the breadcrumb. Not from layout, from React. Yeah, it it auto auto completed with with yeah. layout. That's interesting. Yeah, no, yeah, it happens. Yeah, so cool. uh, we can, yeah, we can replace the nav that you have there with an okay. H stack. Cool. Uh, we can get rid of the uh, class name there, and in in order to keep it nav, we can say s equals nav, right? Awesome. Yeah. So it will still be a nav, but it will behave like a like a horizontal stack, right? So semantically, so it's good, are... but we get some benefits of the horizontal stack. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Exactly. So. Uh, if you open up the the page now, you can you can save it. Yeah, let's get cool. rid of that. Yeah. Uh, cool. What do we get? There we go. We got the go home, and then we got the breadcrumbs, right? So yep. we want to push them on the other side. So let's just say justify content equals space between, right? So we can space them out. Cool, and we're getting some autocomplete help too. That's great. Yeah. So and let's check it, it out. Done. Perfect. Ba bag it all right so nice uh yeah let's uh let's do the button now so uh, uh you decided that it's going to be an anchor and it makes total sense uh but let's try to build it with a button cool all right so we'll import the button component from chakra ui react okay exactly and now let's replace that one 
Like that? Yeah, exactly. So uh, it's not going to have an href. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, we can say, yeah, if you check it out now, you'll see that the button is not really, yeah. Not what we're going not really for, exactly. Our design. Yeah, right. so uh, there are, there's a there's a concept of variants in Jacker UI, right? So we have a button, and this is the default variant. The, um, the, it's not the ghost one; it is the solid one, right? Okay. So we have a solid variant, we have ghosts, and we have outline, which is what we're after right now. Got it. Variants. Yeah. So cool. There you go. So we are going to set the outline variant to this button. Okay. So it's just variant equals outline. Yeah. Nice. Nice, there we go. Perfect. All right, so now we just want to round it up as a pill. So we can say rounded equals full. So this will control the border radius. Awesome. Nice. All right, cool. Yeah. And we we have also have a like a left icon in the design, right? Right. Right. So let's add a left icon prop to the button itself. And we can place the icon inside. Left icon. There we go. Yeah. So in the design, I got the IO iOS arrow back from React icon slash IO. Uh, is it iOS? IO. iOS. No, IO. And then iOS. Arrow back. There we go. Save me at there the end. We go. Cool. Yeah, it, it even hears what we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so, it's uh, it's subscribed to my stream. That's what it is. It's a big fan. Co Copilot yeah. loves the stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so we're not going to place the icon like this. Okay. Right? It needs uh yeah, it needs a JSX element. So let's just, you know, make it a JSX element. Just inside here? Yeah. Directly. And that's it. Our awesome. button is pretty much done now. Yeah. So it's a button, it's not a link, yeah, but for example, you can um, you can uh, use the S prop uh, and maybe render a link, make it, you know, use the S prop to render it as a button and then pass the variant, uh, or you can import the next link, you know, and then somehow wrap it, you know, or... Interesting. Uh, you know, yeah, basically there's the S, um, S prop and there's also, for example, the next link, which we can... You know, we can just massage it to look like the design, right? Um, honestly, I just put a button there. I know we need we we need to have a all good. You know, a a link, but yeah, yeah. still. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. Then we have the the uh, breadcrumbs, right? Right. And also, Chakra UI comes with the breadcrumbs. That's um, wonderful. That, that's that's thingy. really nice. Yeah. Breadcrumb, just like that. So you need the breadcrumb, the breadcrumb item, and and the breadcrumb link. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the breadcrumb is our uh, main component at the top. That's the UL, basically? Yeah. Cool. Uh, inside, we got the items, and inside of the items, we got the uh, links, right? So... Okay, so let me see how I did this. Oh, I was... Uh, I don't I don't need to handle this bit. Chakra's going to handle this, right? Like, I don't need... I, I did this to handle the... Um, oh, of course, yeah. Arrows. Yeah, no, no. Cool. So I can get rid of that. No, we, we don't need it. So we'll just render a breadcrumb item and a breadcrumb link. Cool. Exactly. And then inside, just instead of an A, I do the... Uh, you do need the href. Why not? Cool. Just yeah. keep it. And then... Yeah, and... The, just do that. Oh, not, not that. I assume right, I, yeah. I, have, I have to pass a key still, right? No. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, we do need to uh, figure out the, and we also don't need the span, etc. And that little space that you have there. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, pretty much everything is done for us. So if we, if you check it out now, you can see that it has ah, slashes, right? right? Got it. That's yeah. a default. So in order to, in order to override the uh, the separator, uh, we can. We can just override the separator on the breadcrumb, right? So let's go back and just say on the breadcrumb itself, separator equals, and now this uh, expects a JSX element ah. or a string, as you can see. Okay, no, no, cool. you, you, you can keep it as a string. I, In my case, I added it as, a, as an icon, so you can even use icons if you'd let's like. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, in this case, it's the 
arrow forwards okay. instead of back. So same uh, library, yeah. arrow forward. Same, everything is just arrow forward. forward. There we go. Um, yeah, so yeah, we can render that one. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, nice. let's check it out. There that's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, um, Wing Met Dev in the chat said this, that's super helpful. So many little things to figure out building your own breadcrumbs. Yeah, to just be able to pull one off the shelf and it's it's there is great. I think we're going to do one more thing with it, right? Yeah, we can uh, we can set the last item to be the actual current page, right? Right. Uh, so uh, in our case, for example, if the index is pretty much the same as the length of the breadcrumbs, we can just pass the is current page prop to the breadcrumb item inside, and that's a boolean. So yeah, we can just yeah is current page. So that's uh, if index is equal to uh, what is it? Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Yeah. MBS dot length uh, NGTH minus one. Am I doing that right? Probably, yeah. But this is not going to paint the you know the breadcrumb. It's just going to annotate, right? That is the Got current it. page. Right. So if, since we are returning stuff uh, with the return statement instead of immediately, we can probably you know. Uh, move this uh comp comparison above so we can reuse it uh again to set okay. the color yeah that one got it so like const current or something or what are you thinking yeah pretty much just yeah look at that immediately so <laughs> wild awesome yeah so we can say that this current page is uh current but then also for example where we have the 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 breadcrumb link at the bottom we need to set the color right Got it. yeah so uh color equals um if, if if it's the current one then we can say it is going to be brand dot 500 and we're going to define that so is that in a string yeah in a string yeah oh, it's trying to Brand on 500. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't know. We can set it as the gray 700, for example. Or we can say unset, I think. So we don't actually change it, right? Okay. All right. Thank you for that follow. Um, cool. Nice. And we, so we, we expect not to have anything because we haven't set that brand color yet, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we can go into the theme and do some magic now. Awesome. Right. So uh, I think we should copy the all of the hexes because they're like a lot so we're doing we're going in here uh not there because uh it's a custom uh scale so maybe i can send them to you so you can okay just... yeah 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 good call i get what you're saying yeah now. yeah rather than you reading out hex codes to me uh i think that's a much better <laughs> better I, I don't know we should ask the chat chat do you want to see us read out hex codes or should we copy and paste it <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> We get time. Are you DMing it to me or? I, I yeah, I, I just DM'd it to you on Discord. <laughs> Start a poll. I am not seeing it. I might want to check if you sent that to someone else. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. All good? Someone's go. very confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> cool just team. just a bunch of hex codes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Yeah. So nice there we go so this is the brand uh, this is how we, we define our own colors right and colors in chakra they can be uh you know just a single hex color right okay. but in this case i'm defining uh color scale right right so uh starting from 50 we got the lightest right purple that we can find and then up until 900 we got the darkest purple that we can find and usually the 500 is your brand color right Cool. If you're Coca-Cola, then 500 will be the red that's actually on the, you know, th that uh, Coca-Cola red. Bottle, right? Yeah. Cool. So 500 is the main one. Yeah. And check it out. And We've got purple. And check it out. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. So, uh, so yeah, like we, we this was these. a bit bolder. Should we should we hit that? Yeah. Why not? Cool. Yeah. You, uh, you can do that at the instead of there. Let's try to. Let's try to put the put it on the breadcrumb. See what happens. Okay. You know. Yeah. So let's see. Font weight equals. I don't know. Medium or semi bold. Let's see if medium does our trick. Nope. Not that. Not that. Let's 
pretty good. Yep. Cool. Right. So, so in order to, you know, we don't have to define it on every breadcrumb item, right? So right. the breadcrumb will pass that font. Um, it's not going to pass it because, right, it's it's CSS, right? It's the cascade. If we said, yeah, it's the cascade thingy. Awesome. Cool. And yeah, for example, we are pretty much done with the um, done with the no. navigation bar. Now, part, yeah. do you guys want to do the responsiveness now, or you guys want to circle back and and make it responsive? I think we can circle back. I I, th I think fleshing out each each bit might be good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think we can circle yeah. back. So, all right. So let's continue then. Cool. Um. All right, so now we're heading over to our slices. So I just called it header, and here mm -hmm. we go. So yeah. um, I oh yeah, so I, I passed the, the the breadcrumbs in. I just did that manually. Um, we've got all these things that we're pulling in from our slice. Uh, so yeah. title, location, rating, etc. So we've got all this stuff. All right, cool. Yeah. So um, in order to build this, right, we. We need to see, for example, the, the layout. This is the reviews, right? And then we have the top nav there. Yep. We got the title. Okay. Uh, in this case, we are going to use uh, a vertical stack. Cool. As the as the main div, right? Because they're stacked vertically. Sounds good. Import uh, v stack. Yeah. And then from React, one sec. All right, so awesome. use vStack as this element. Yeah, as the topmost div. Makes sense. Cool. We should see. Yep, that that sort of makes sense just because I got rid of all the styles that affected these things. So I think we're yeah, good yeah. So far. But by default, yeah, by default it aligns the uh, the items at center. So we can just do align items equals uh, stretch, it. I guess, in this case. Right, let's see if that changes anything. Cool. There we go. Okay, so we're back at normal, but yeah. you can see. All right, well, I can, actually, we're cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So we can uh, update the H1 now, right? Because it's the uh, uh, it's the title. So we can we're going to use the we're going to use the heading component. Got it. Chakra UI. Uh, there are two text components: the heading and the text. So the difference is they mostly at the font and the font sizes, right? Uh, because, for example, when we try to overwrite, and we're just going to do that uh, right now. Um, right now, I mean, let's just set the font size to be 5XL, right? Because that's pretty much font size, yeah. Okay. 5XL, yeah. Yeah, so that's just, you know, uh, stole it from the Figma design. Cool. There we go. Yeah, but the font is not set, right? Uh, the font is actually the Josephine sense, right? So in order to change it, we're going to go back to the theme. Okay. And instead of doing the colors, we'll do the fonts now. Got it. Fonts. Yeah. And there's the body, which will correspond to the text uh, component, but we'll do the heading font, which corresponds to the heading. Uh, there we go. And I'd like to do a little trick. Yeah, you can do Josephine Sans here. Okay. Uh, but what I also like to do is also import the base theme uh, from Chakra UI. So theme as base at the top. Cool. So uh, just as, theme yeah. and theme as... As base. No, no, no just, do, just, you know, uh, do an import alias to it. So theme as base. Oh, got it. Theme... Because uh, we already got, uh, or we already base. got the. There you go. Yeah, we already got the theme uh, as our variable. But now, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's uh, wrap this into backticks, the Josephine Sense font. Got it. So then we can uh, do a comma and then move on with the, uh, you know, just spread the default heading font. No, no, uh, no, no, inside of the heading My string. Fault. Sorry. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, and then do uh, base. We're not going to spread it because it's a string. Uh, but yeah, we'll just concatenate the Josephine sense and the rest of the default themes, right? So it, God, it has something there. to fall back on. Got it. Yeah, cool. and we'll do base fonts. There we go, and heading. 
Okay, cool. So that gives it some yep. sensible defaults just in case this that this doesn't work out. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. Otherwise, uh, and, and pretty it, much... would, it would overwrite it entirely. Is that what would happen? Of course. Yeah. Cool. It'll. Uh, yeah, it'll be Joseph Sans only. Got it. So let's check it out. I, I think we should be good now. Um, did we? I don't think we pulled in um, font source any, anywhere. We just installed it. We didn't uh, right. apply that anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We so... do need to import it. I, I usually keep it in my app DSX. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so import... you'll do font source. Uh, it's it's a string. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Trying to font source just add... hands like that. No, it's something like but, yes, the CSS. Then... Yeah, you do need to slash seven hundred dot CSS. Got it. I'm yeah, because we only need the the bold font. Ah, cool. Okay, okay. So, so it is this. Got it. It's that same sort of thing. Yeah. Slash seven hundred dot CSS. Exactly. Yeah. So let's check it cool. out now. There we go. That's definitely it. Looking awesome. a lot better. Nice. Yeah. Um, one thing awesome. I don't want to derail us too much, but I do want to make sure that by the end we show um the figma chakra kit because that was awesome when you showed me that that you've got because what you said uh here reminded me of it where you said like yeah i just took that straight from from figma but that's not a built-in thing with, with, with figma with figma typically but because yep. you're using the chakra ui kit you're able to build this out a, a lot quicker with those sensible defaults right there for the taking so let's make sure that we exactly. come 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 back around on that because that's a really great tool for people to use for people to use right out of yeah, here. Yeah, awesome. Cool. All right, yeah. it's looking great. Yeah, okay. So let's continue with the uh, with the bottom thingy, that uh, the info stuff. Yeah. All right, so uh, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be a horizontal stack. Yeah. Initially, right? We can circle back to it and we'll do some changes later Got on, it. right? So, yeah, so it's going to be initially a horizontal stack uh, because, yeah. right, uh, items are stacked horizontal and we'll do the what, what do we have here okay and we do need the buttons as well but we'll we'll add them okay later on awesome so uh we got the horizontal stack now but we do need to separate the info with the buttons at the right so we'll we'll wrap the the info that we currently have with a diff uh oh actually yeah the the buttons were at the title level all right so let's go back and just okay add them. cool so uh I mean, if we... put an h stack here exactly yeah Cool. Initially, right? So we'll, yeah. we'll circle back and do some changes yep. now. Awesome. Cool. And exactly like before, right? So we'll just do justify space between and we got the title and then we'll have another horizontal stack for the buttons. Space between, there we go. So after the title, let's just slap another horizontal stack and we'll do the buttons inside. This one's not going to have the justified content of space between. Cool. Uh, it's going to have a spacing of four. So because I left 16 God. pixels between each button. Um, yeah. How does this work? Is this going to be gap or is this going to be like a margin left or right? It's, it's going to be a margin left okay. on every element except the first one. So it does it. It, it does it sensibly like that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So let's just attack the buttons here. We 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 we're going to use the icon button, not the icon. ordinary one. Yeah. Cool. So there is an icon button as well. So we don't need to. You know, it's a self-closing component, right? So um, we're going to set now the icons. All right. So um, I can read them out to you because I I got them here exactly from the Figma design. Okay. If you'd like. Or you know what? Uh, um, I think I have them two in the file you sent me uh yeah. what's the component is it header title title, title. DSX. all right cool yeah i think copying and pasting might be the quick way here yeah there's like 10 in this area um cool so yeah these are the icons there yeah right so, so just for chat the... this is all from react icons if you're not familiar it's just a fantastic uh, little library that has basically all of uh, the icons you can want from pretty much all the packages that are like open source and free and everything at hero icons, etc. cetera. Um, and it allows you to pull them in. And my understanding is it does like the tree shaking on it so that you don't need to worry about like, like it's, yeah. it's, it's not pulling in all of font awesome, all of hero icons, all that stuff into your project. It's only pulling in the ones that you import. 
so it's pretty great. Cool. Um, sorry, I just wanted to make sure the chat understood what this was. Uh, cool. So okay. what are we doing for this icon button, this first one? Yeah, uh, first one will be the outline location marker from Hero Icons. No, no, just do icon equals. Ah. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Icon equals, and then the oh yeah, a JSX. So, so it's yeah. high outline location marker. Cool. There we go. Awesome. And we, yeah, because so, because this is a JavaScript project. In usually in TypeScript, uh, using the icon button like this is going to start to complain because you haven't passed the area label property, and you do need to. Ah, uh, so we that's are. Nice. Yeah, we are enforcing. Uh, that's the, great. Yeah, the accessibility here. So dash label this case. Cool. Nice. And I'll just say get location or whatever it is for the screen readers. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. The right there. so the next one would be the fi share to icon. Cool. There we go. And we'll do something cool after we we build this. Awesome. So if I share two, yeah, uh, CG heart is next. Okay. There we go. And FI more horizontal. What's this? There one? we go. So let's, yeah, let's oh, go oh, ahead uh, and more uh, options. Yeah. So let's go ahead and see what we have at the moment. Got it. And okay. So it's that default style that... again. Yeah, exactly. So let's yeah, let's touch up on that. But we're going to do something better this time, right? So okay. we are going to create our own variant for the for the buttons. Cool. Uh, instead of, for example, I mean we can achieve this. For example, let's try on the first one. Do the variant outline and say rounded full. And then rounded full. Right, so we can go back and you'll we'll see that, for example, it's exactly like the design. Right. But we're using two props, right? And if we were to add more styling props, then all of the buttons will have the, you know, all of the props. But instead of doing that, because we know that our icon buttons throughout the whole app look exactly like this, right? Mm. We can create a custom variant. We'll define these properties in the variant itself and we'll just say variant equals the name of the variant, the, right? Yeah, cool. Awesome. That's yeah. that's really handy because otherwise, yeah, that can get really unnecessary. And then if you want to go change it, right, you're yeah. changing it in 100 you, places. So that makes a lot of you sense. Can, of course, yeah. So let's go ahead in the team file again. Awesome. Right. So there's a, uh, there's a components field here that we want to enter into. Cool. Right, and inside we can we can uh, yeah open up the new uh, there we go an object, and we'll do the button with the capital B. Because the icon button is you know uh, it inherits from the uh, actual sense. button. Cool. So uh, let's enter the button uh, section, and we'll do the variants now. So variants exactly like say, yeah this will not delete all of the variants, but we'll just overwrite. We'll, it'll just add our custom variant here. Awesome. Whoa, thank you so much for rating Semantics Dev. Uh, hope you had a great stream. Really appreciate that raid. Welcome, welcome. We are just learning about, um, uh, we, we're learning about Chakra UI. Uh, we are building out this fantastic um, Airbnb style page all with chakra components we're already going really far and fast like it's already looking really great up here down here this was what we had set up before so you can kind of see like we're going down and making over um what we're pulling in from our cms uh through slice machine and into our chakra U ui setup so you are coming in at a great time and uh thank you so much for that sub ben my goodness wow Really, really appreciate it. And thanks again for the raid. Hope you hope you had a great stream. And, and Michael, glad you love Chakra. I'm uh, I'm loving it already. It's uh, taking care of so many things for us. So we're just about to set up a variant for these buttons. Uh, so how are we continuing with this? Yeah, let's let's enter the variants uh, section. And we can just name our custom variant as the key to our, uh, to our object, right? So let's enter the variants object here. Cool. 
Yeah, and then we'll name it, I don't know, let's name it Pill. Cool. There we go. Yeah. So, uh, variants in, in Chakra UI, um, the, the variant field can either be um, uh, an object, just like we did here, right? Okay. Or it can be, it can be an arrow function that returns all the props for that element, right? So Got let's it. just, yeah, let's let's convert this not into an object, but into an arrow function. So it will take the props. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Uh, yeah, but we'll just do again uh, instead of doing return, we can just wrap those as the. Let's see, there cool. we go. Yeah, so let's get the props here. Okay. Right? So we are going to base our variant, you know, based on the outline. But but the outline is already built in Chakra, right? So how can we pull that? That's why I, I suggested to actually use an arrow function instead because we got the props here and the props is our actually, actual theme, right? Cool. Yeah, so, um, so let's, let's do... Uh, let's spread out, exactly. Yeah, let's spread out the base. No, not the props, but the base. No, 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 just base.components because the base is the theme, right? Got it. I just, okay, so these props aren't going to be... We'll use them in, okay. yeah, to build out the outline. So, yeah, okay. base.components, there we go. Uh, button variants default, but instead of default, we'll do outline, right? Got it. And the outline uh, is a function that would require these props. So let's just pass the props to, to it. Oh. And now, yeah, now our variant, the pill variant, is exactly like the uh, outline variant, right? Got it. And nice. so now so we can we build can on do, top of that. Yeah, yeah. And, and now we can do our stuff. So we can do rounded uh, is full. Yeah, cool. and then we can say color equals, uh, uh, sorry, color uh, is gray dot 500. Gray dot 500. And now all of the icons will be gray dot 500, right? Yeah. And this is pretty much it, right? So we have the, the pill variant here, and now we can just go and use it, right? So if we were to, where was it? Variant equals pill, and now let's get rid of that nothing yeah, changes right i saw the, the but, gray yeah, there the color yeah the color is actually and that's what we're after right yeah uh, so yeah let's, let's apply all of these things and and it be it behaves exactly like the outline did um yeah yeah that's that's awesome that's a really handy yeah so gray. we didn't have to recreate the outline we just right. borrow, borrowed it right but there's so, so many little added... things like the transition that go into the outline right like there's there'll be a exactly. lot to rewrite but we don't have to do that yeah that's fantastic all right cool so awesome, add them man. all yeah that's pretty much it there it is nice that's great nice yeah awesome and yeah that's 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 pretty much it for the buttons yeah uh we we set the spacing to 16 pixels just like the design awesome yeah yeah cool. that's it we can move on now nice all right let's do it uh we're on to this part it looks like yeah uh so as as you can see, for example, we got three sections, right? We the, we got the reviews, the location, and the house. So we can use a horizontal stack for that. Cool. Initially, right? Yep. We can use a horizontal stack for that, uh, and cool. we can do every item inside. Got it. And I think I've got the order a little mixed around. So there's reviews, and then here's the location there. But cool. Right. Yeah. All right. Got the horizontal stack. Uh, so how are we gonna like kind of? separate these bits out into the three sections yeah i mean i i did something cool uh when i when i actually sit down to code this thing so if you'd like we can do the same yeah i like cool yeah. things uh, yeah so um let's create a new component called icon label right because we got the icon and the label yeah sorry if the naming okay. is confusing but no, uh, so yeah, just like down down here or or in, in our components folder, like should we build a new uh, one? Pro yeah, probably in the components. Cool. I, and it's yeah, icon we can label? reuse it later. Yeah. Okay. Icon label, yeah. So this is going to get the get the children and also an icon and a separator. The icon and a separator, right? 
Cool. So, yeah, initially, uh, so we're looking at a single child here, right? A single section. We got the icon on the left and the, and the labels on the right. Got it. Yeah, okay, so, so this is this is one. So icon yeah. with these. Got and it. the okay. label. Makes sense. Awesome, yeah. So let's uh, let's use a horizontal stack here because uh, we got them uh, stacked horizontally. Cool. Nice. We, we, we can set the spacing to three because there, there are 12 pixels uh, between the icon and the label. Got it. Exactly. And let's do align items to center in case the icon is a bit, you know, taller than the actual text. So it all aligns at the center. Nice, cool. yeah. So let's place the icon. We'll just do icon, yeah, like that. And we can control it from the outside, which is cool. And now let's also add another horizontal stack. Below, yeah. This will be the stack that holds our children. And I say children in, yeah, uh, in plural because we had we have these two here, right? For example, on the location, we got only the label. Right. Uh, but uh, in the reviews, we got the number. We, we got the actual review and the number of reviews and, and those items as well. But you can see there's a little uh, dot, you know, between them. That's what we're actually trying to, to achieve, right? Okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead and add another horizontal stack. There we go. We'll do spacing one. So we can have like a little breathing space, like four pixels. Okay. And then we can, yeah, then we can do divider equals separator. Maybe we should have called that divider. Yeah. The prop name is divider and I called it separator in the... <laughs> oh, good. We're changing it out. There we go. Yeah, so inside, uh, we want to do something cool. So we want to loop through all of the children, right? So these will be uh, usually uh, text uh, elements. Yeah, so, but we're not going to map them. Okay. We could we could probably I don't know I I did this in TypeScript so I had to do React dot children dot uh, to array, and then map them. But yeah, maybe in in JavaScript it can work because it used to break for my end. Try it. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure, but maybe maybe we should use the React uh, dot children dot map instead. Well, thank you, Klaus Everwalking Dev, for hosting. Very cool. Um, sorry, uh, I got distracted by that that horse gift. Yeah, and, uh, and the host yeah in, in, <laughs> in, instead of children.map, let's use react.children with capital C and then dot map. Okay. Uh, so the first, are, um, the first, yeah, we'll, we'll just get the, uh, the child and the index, but the first argument should be the children itself because we, we don't know what we're mapping through. No, not there. The second one is that arrow function, and, and that's okay. But the first one, the first argument would be the children array that we have. Oh, here. Ah. Got it. Yeah, so we can do children there. Mm, yeah, and there we go. We got the child and the index, which is super cool. And now, uh, there is... Uh, you know, there is... Uh, we want to do uh, mx... We want to say mx to every uh, element, to every child, right? Okay. The issue with this is, for example, when we add the divider here, right? We we lose the the spacing, and I set it to one, but yeah, I just uh, I wanted you to just check it out that we don't actually have any space. Just you know, blew my surprise, but never nevertheless, yeah. <laughs> when we use divider with uh, with the h stack. We lose the the spacing, right? Okay. So we need to manually add the MX, right? The margin on the X axis. All right. So we're going to get this child and we're going to clone it and we'll pass the MX prop to it. That's okay. the that's the workaround here, right? So so get all the children and clone them and then pass the you know pass the MX. So let's do uh, instead of child. We're going to render react.clone element. Dot clone element. We'll pass the child, and then the second argument will be the uh, the new props, exactly like that. Yeah. Okay. Instead of key, we'll just do mx, and we'll do one. Yeah. We'll just we'll just do one as a number. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
pretty much that's it. Yeah, you, you won't need the index here. I needed to use the index because of TypeScript, but yeah. Now let's yeah, see what... I'm getting yelled at for something here. I'm trying to figure out what's... You don't... Im Do you import React? No, I don't have React. Well, no. you, you don't need it with Next is the thing. Yeah. Like it shouldn't... Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not sure. Maybe what's the actual error? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh... Uh, comma is expected. Yeah, let's try this. Uh, we're, let's get rid of the uh, the ordinary the, those parentheses and also the curly braces there. So we'll just do immediately React colon child. Oh, that seemed to fix it. Just, just those. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Uh, but wait, wait. Uh, we do need to return the clone element now because right, we we have the. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. There we go. Cool. All right, so yeah, this this will do it. Let's let's try to use this component now, the icon label in in that place, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna come back to this because I'm this is a bit over my head, but I think seeing it in action will make it a bit more clear for me. So yeah, I'm I'm excited for this. Um, so we're going back to our yeah our our header. So we're gonna import this now, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to import it and cool. we're going to use it for for all of this stuff here. Cool. Um, import. Okay. And so nice. now here, let's pop it here. Yeah. Oh. yeah so for example, for the for the uh, rating, we can use the H I star icon from look Hero how smart icon. this is though. Look at this. It yeah, knows it you want to use icon label. It, it's it's linking the location with a location because they know we have a location yeah. thing in it. Like <laughs> it, it, it like every it's, day I'm like, damn, this thing is smart. It's yeah. smart. Oh, anyway, all right. So we're doing rating, right? Yeah. So icon label. Uh. I let's can't. use that one because that comes later. Yeah, right? let's so just pull it down. the icon. Let's let's just appease the robot. All right, let's not make it mad. Um, yeah, it wants to do location uh, again. We're... <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, we don't have the we don't have the label in uh, uh, defined as a prop, right? Oh, we we do point. have the separator. Yeah, and the children point. are inside. Yeah. So in this case, the label, the location it's will come as children. a child. Yeah. Yeah. And for the separator, we can do that little bullet thingy uh, from the ASCII. So yeah. separator. No, 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 divider. Sorry, sorry, divider. Yeah, we changed it. Um, <laughs> yeah, ASCII. Yeah. Uh... You can, yeah, you can do it as a string if you'd like, or you can even do it as a JSX element. So we can use a text, and we can say, all right, there's a color. Your color will be gray. 500 right you can we can also make it bold okay right uh, so how do we want to do it because I, I i just copied and pasted it um but yeah we can that's, do it some that's other the way. one yeah okay cool but yeah let's go yeah open up uh let, let's create a new uh, i mean instead of a string let's uh let's provide a jsx element instead and we'll do that dot inside so we can use the text uh component from chakra ui this time i think this is the first time we're using it there we yeah. go uh, we're, we're gonna not self close, yeah. right? So just like that. Yeah. So we can, yeah, put that dot and we can also say, okay, let's, let's set the color to gray 500. So it'll be that neutral gray that we have. And also we can set the font weight, font weight to bold. So we can see it better. Right. Cause it's pretty tiny. Right. Awesome. Yeah. So, uh, this will, like uh, that. have the location, which is cool. Right. Uh, Let's see it in action. Let's see what we did. Let's see if that's working. Let's nah. We're getting yelled at. Element. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to click off it. Element type is invalid. I expected a string for a class function for composite components, but got undefined. Can you go back? Uh, let's see. Icon label. We got the icon there. We got the divider there. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. I got it. I got it now. Before yeah. we actually, 
clone the element. Maybe we should check if if it's a valid child, right? Okay. So in the in the icon label. Right. Yeah, before we actually do the clone element, we can do is child valid. So, uh, like if is sorry is uh, or yeah, either if or you can just return it immediately with the double ampersand. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, you can do if react dot is valid element. There you go, and then cool. now pass the child. Then we can return the actual clone element, right? Got it. Nice. Let's let's try this now. Okay. See if the error goes away. Yeah, sure. it did. Okay. So, cool. yeah. Huh. So what happens with the icon now? We get the we but but it's very dark, right? Yeah, you got a very dark icon, and we're we're not expecting to see a separator, so that that works there right, yeah. for the location. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, we can probably make it optional and just get rid of the divider there, because we okay. don't actually need it yeah, yeah. Or maybe we can set this as a default i don't know it's yeah nevertheless but yeah uh, before we copy this okay. the icon is i think it's black at the moment right and we want to change it right so right. we should say color equals yellow 400 right on the icon yeah is that gonna uh is that gonna work with no yeah, it's cause... not going to work yeah because <laughs> it's yeah, yeah it's not a chakra component right. but yeah just, you could just all right, so since it's not a tracker component, right? We do want this icon to to be rendered, but we still want to use uh, chakra tokens, right? So we want right. to say, okay, this is the location. It'll be instead of yellow. Sorry, I said yellow, but it's going to be gray. So what we can do is import the icon component from chakra and render the icon there, and we can use the as prop to actually render the React icon. There we go. So we'll do icon. Okay, we're, uh, here we go. So here. Yeah. So icon we'll do equals icon. icon. Yeah. S H I location marker. It can be self closing. Yeah. H I location marker. And now it's going to render the location marker correctly, but we still we do have the option to pass some chakra props, right? Got it. So let's do yeah. Let's do the color now we can say gray 500 i think it was gray 500 cool well we're not going to see oh yeah yeah yeah. we should we should see a difference because this is the icon yep yeah it's it not going to be there we go yeah awesome nice very cool all right so you got that um now we need to do the same thing pretty much for our um our reviews and our thing here right yeah so we'll, we'll use Whoa, the same Oh, Bruno. Hey, thank you for that raid, Bruno. 86 people jumping in here. Wow. Hey, thank you so much for the raid, Bruno. Fantastic to see you. Uh, hope your room is coming along great. I've been seeing uh, snapshots of those on Twitter and everything. So, so cool how, how much you're putting into it. It's just looking gorgeous. Is it close to being done or did you finish it today? Uh, I'm really curious. Thank you for those follows. Wow, getting rated in. Uh, so we're going through almost. Man, you're putting so much detail into that thing. It is, yeah, three or four more sessions left. Is 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 what you're saying? It's it's so good. I'll do a little stretch. Thank you. Um, yeah, fantastic to see it. We are working through uh, Chakra UI. So if you're not familiar, Chakra is uh, well. How would you put it? Chakra is. Sorry, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, Chakra is a collection of React components that uses... Uh, it has a, a design system already built in, right? With design tokens and everything. It handles the accessibility for you. In case it can't handle the accessibility for you and you use TypeScript, it enforces you to, you know, apply the accessibility uh, props. But yeah, basically it has all of the... Um, it has all of the building blocks like uh, button inputs, etc., that help you build your app, right? And that's what we're trying now to actually build a, a, an Airbnb style UI. Awesome, yeah. So we're we're building out the, this gorgeous uh, setup that Lazar. Sorry, I'm. I told you I would stutter on it every every time. Uh, 
designed and now we're building it w with chakra it's just gorgeous and uh it's it's going really well like there's so many built-in features so if you're interested at all in front-end development in building out apps uis uh we're, we're learning chakra today it's an awesome awesome uh option and yeah we we do ignore accessibility too much bruno uh really good point um and super quick i just want to check this out uh this is the room that bruno's building i'm not sure if you oh my god look at this are you seeing this nice look at that the the smoke coming off like this is <laughs> incredible bruno this is coming out so good when when you said you're gonna do your room i was like oh, okay like it'll take him a couple days let's do a little thing this is incredible the detail here ah oh, so good I, I i can't believe like there's still more to do it's just because wow awesome 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 i can't wait to see that done uh yeah the details are fantastic the coffee steam today left click i'll 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 do that later i, I don't i don't want to oh shift left, cl left click move uh hold on, i'll do it super quick i don't want to interrupt the float ah nice 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 yeah gorgeous stuff um, are you bringing the dog in? I know you've got your dog in your um, in your course setup there, so I'm not I'm not sure if if you plan on putting your your dog in there. No dog, cool. Your does your dog still show up every thirty minutes though on your on your on your camera? Uh, Dev Lu uh, asks, can Chakra support Angular? I don't think so, right? It's Vue and React right now. You, you got those yeah. two libraries? Yeah, just Vue and React. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, it's really yeah. robust. There's tons of components. Um, yeah, definitely. We do definitely plan on doing some refactoring uh, in future. Okay. Which could enable using Chakra in Angular, right? Oh. Uh, but awesome. yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Cool. Yeah, it's it's got a ton of components that make just building things way way easier. So uh, we are working our way down this page. So like we we've we're working on the the top section here. Uh, we're going to keep on, keep it on. So here we go. Um, where, where we, thank you so much for that, that raid, Bruno, really appreciate it. Uh, and welcome everyone. You are now honorary horses. If you've followed, we do lots of cr creative coding and front end development here. Uh, that's what we're all about. We've actually had Bruno on, on the show before we do lots of creative stuff. It's, uh, super, super fun. So, uh, awesome. yeah, Lazar, uh, what are we doing next? We got this icon label. Yeah. Yeah, we, we built this component. Now we can yeah. use, for example, the star icon and, and actually make it uh, yellow, right? Yeah. So that would be the hero icon star, high star. High and we'll star. make it, yeah, we'll make it yellow 500, right? Awesome. And these are built in colors yeah. that, like, I've got a full palette that's built into Chakra, right? Yep. All yep. right. Hey, welcome and from yeah, India. Can... Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we, we can we can get the the uh, the stars I mean, the the reviews there, the rating and the reviews. We can pass these as right. Yeah, as we can pass these yeah, as as children here. So do we want to pass fans or, these like or the... you can use uh, texts. Yeah, like yeah. That. Then, this would work too as well. Let's let's check it out. Perfect. Okay, so we we just gotta oh, work yeah. on a little bit of spacing here. But other than that, that that's working great. Yeah, yeah, and we can see that the separator is here, and that's cool. Right. But let's see the spacing. You know what? What is? Ah, you, you know what? You are basically getting uh, a span element, and you're passing the MX prop to it, right? But the span element doesn't actually know what the MX is. Doesn't care about it, right? So we yeah, so of we can just spans. convert these to text. Cool. And so these are chakra and, components for people who yeah. are just arrived. Uh, so yes. Let's... Let's see it now. Nice. There we go. So they spacing is there. Awesome. They respond to it. Do we want to make this a little bit bigger to match? Yeah, the... yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Cool. Now, if you want to control the font size, of oh, font size. If you want to control the size of the icon, we do need to use the font size prop. If we use the size, it's configured a bit differently, right? So this is probably sixteen pixels. I feel like these are normally M's, right? Like, aren't these usually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when when we get it from um, React icons, it, it's not a hundred percent of the time, but most of the time it defaults to one M. So yeah. as 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 long as we do font size on a parent yeah, or 24. on yeah, twenty four. Yeah, it it pretty much gets converted. So we can do font size twenty four. In this case, uh, it will convert it to uh, just pixels. 
cool. so 24 or as a string. In this case, it doesn't matter really. Cool. And there you go. There we go. Yeah. Our our star is now 24 pixels. Nice. I'm gonna do the same thing to our where was it? Where was it? High location marker. Boom. Right there. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Looking good. Nice. Uh, Belgrade, Serbia. And then we just need to do it for this last one. That's a really handy yeah, trick. No. I I Ooh, don't house. mess with this kind of uh, stuff too much in, in in React, to be honest. So thank you for teaching yeah, us that. Yeah. It's really pretty, uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, useful in Next.js, for example. Uh, I was working on a project, for example, we have a layout, right? For every page, we have a layout. And we define the dashboard layout with the sidebar and... It also has a search bar at the top, right? Okay. So how would you get the search query from the, uh, you know, from the layout itself and pass it as a prop to the page without using the data fetching props, right? You yeah. are going to clone the the page itself and you're going to pass that prop. Interesting. So so yeah. w w instead of using like a global state or something, you're that's like the workaround there. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, I. W I set it up pretty much to to uh, to support you know having that because uh, pages in Next.js as we know are just default components right we can create a component and then export it right uh, but I defined the get layout um, method for that particular component uh, which is the page right and then I, I I'm receiving the page in the props. Right, but that that uh, lets me put the page as a child to my dashboard layout, for example, right? Right. Yeah. So in in dashboards, the children is actually the page. Got it. Okay. And then you're you're, yeah, you're and, able to to reference that by React children. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then I can clone that page, and for example, I can pass that little search query that's going on. Awesome. All right. Yep. That's really handy, man. I appreciate it. Um, I went ahead and yeah, that worked perfectly. Uh, except for the star, uh, we just gotta change that out. What's BS what was... house BS house fill? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Uh, where are we? High star. And we'll just nice. move the yellow bit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make it red. Okay. Just to make it fun. Yeah. All right. Uh, That's just pretty much it. What happened to our Ooh, location? I done. broke it somewhere. Yeah. Uh, icon label location. Why did that break? No idea. Should we wrap it in a, huh. in a text or, I mean, I'm not sure if it actually needs any. Oh, yeah. Was... Let's, let's, there we go. let's try that just in case. Oops. Because we're doing the clone element. So maybe it breaks. I mean, I doubt huh. it, but. Oh, okay, not sure why, but yeah, that seemed to fix yeah. it. All right, cool. All right, nice. don't don't question it too much. If it's working, it's working. We're <laughs> we're gonna move on. <laughs> cool. So well, yeah, yeah. So, we got more. What we're we're done with this. So sh do you think we should tackle the uh, the little grid, the little gallery now? I would love or that. We're yeah. running out of time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, we yeah we can go a little bit over, but I want to respect your time too. And plus, we we've got like a a, a half hour left. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we can uh, go through the uh, the grid. Um, cool. Honestly, I spent more time designing the grid in Figma because, as you can see, all of the uh, images are squares. Yeah. Right, and it's uh, and in the spacing between, and I had to you know, like nudge everything and you know just like try to nitpick to to make it perfect. But when I sat down to actually implement it, it was like way faster than actually designing it in Figma. <laughs> Sometimes so, code yeah, is, could... is is like that. Yeah. Because you just let exactly. Flexbox yeah. or whatever handle it, right? You, you let Grid handle it. Um, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Chuck for UA has, a, has two grids. Uh, it has a grid, just like we you know, uh, the ordinary grid uh, that we know and love. Okay. But it also has um, a simple grid, which is basically the same, but with more simplified interface. So we can use, we don't have to do template columns. We can just use columns, right? Okay. So the, here's the grid, and we do need to specify the template columns and template rows in the grid case, right? Got it. In 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 the simple grid, we don't actually need to. So we can just say grids equals. I mean, oh, sorry. Uh, columns equals two, right? In this case, we have two columns, and that's it. 
Got it. But in this case, since we have rows, we are going to use uh, an ordinary grid. Okay. Right? By the way, so I love to... I love the search feature that you've got. This just makes now. Oh, what did I do there? How did I write? Wow, that was weird. I think I selected everything. What? It just, oh, what yes, I just select. Do? That's weird. What did I do? I think I hit like a special reading thing. Sorry. Uh, the Control K, like this searching feature is just yeah. so nice. Hopping around. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. So so here's the grid component, right? And. Yeah, we can pretty much say this is the template column, right? We can set the gap. We can set the template rows. Got it. Okay, awesome. so yeah. should I import that into our gallery? And thank you for that follow. Yeah. Do a little stretch. Thank you for the reminder. Guest stretching is optional. Totally up to you if you want to get a little stretch going. <laughs> they <laughs> they they can force it on me, but they can't force anything on you. You can you can do whatever you want. Uh, yeah. Cool. So we've Me got too. our grid. Um, are we going to make yeah. that the like um, the highest element, Atlantic, like yeah. the parent element? Cool grid. All yeah, right. we can do a grid. We, you can also render it as a section if you'd like. Uh, okay, I haven't as... tried that. Maybe maybe it'll break. Maybe it'll work. We'll see. I imagine it should work. I don't I mean. Yeah. I don't so so now we need to pass the template columns and props. So it's going to be a four by three. So columns yeah. are four. Yeah. Four and then. Uh, I don't know. I guess we need to pass the the repeat thing because this will generate, yeah. Awesome. Generate the CSS. So wait, I, I can forward. actually pass actual CSS grid and it's going to... Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Most implementations of grid that I found in something like this uh, boxes me into either having... Um, you know, just like a, a bunch of equal columns or uh, I'm working with a 12 column grid, like, like a bootstrap. And then I'm kind of just like trying to finagle myself within that. And I'm kind of stuck. The fact that I'm able to do this and yeah, use the CSS grid that I know how to use is wonderful. I didn't realize yeah, that, that was the API. It's just the, yeah, it's the CSS value here that we pass. Yeah. So that's cool. That's yeah. great. Okay, cool. So, uh, what do we? So, template columns. What do we want here? Yeah, uh, four, uh, four uh, columns. So repeat. Yeah, one fraction each. Yeah, repeat. Four. Yeah, so we'll one just do FR. four. Yeah, one fraction each, and we'll do the same for, for the rows, but it, we'll have three rows. So. Yeah. Exactly, but we'll have three rows and. Let's finish the grid and then we can do some responsive thingy. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. That's wonderful. So, uh, and we can set the gap to be three, which equals to 12 pixels, right? So, gap equals three. Cool. All right. So, yeah. Grid inside, item. yeah. We can have the, we have the first image, right? Then we have the next two and then we have like a button there. Right. Yeah, yeah, so, so the right first... now I've got images that slice. So instead we can just do images and then just do the first one, right? Yeah, let's just do zero, right? So um yeah, I, I guess we can just do grid item. Yeah. Yeah, we do need to wrap it into a grid item. Right? And now let's do the image. There's an image uh from Chakra as well. Oh, that's cool. Um yeah. what benefits there does is. this give? It just that, that I can style with it or yeah, you, you can style. I mean, it doesn't have any rendering uh, specialties, right? Makes I mean, sense. We, yeah, we are using Next.js, and then we can do some magic to actually use uh, Next.js image. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll not cover that uh, right yeah, now. Cool. There's like a, uh, yeah, there's there's a trick using the Chakra factory. Uh, but yeah, Got we it. can just do images uh, from zero here, right? And then we can do. Uh, we can do rounded equals 3XL, right? So so we have the edges. 3XL, cool. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's add the object fit. Let's also set the object fit to cover. Right. And we'll see what happens. We are missing one more thing, though. What All right, so that? let's see. This, uh, this is getting the wrong thing. Grid, cool. Yeah, so let's check it out now. Yeah, it's going to be a little wonky, I'm assuming, because we've got our other stuff there. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be right. screwy. So, so it's a it's a landscape, right? The image itself. 
Yeah. You can see that yeah, the width is uh, a bit, you know, it is bigger than the height. So right. there is a way to enforce that. And we can use the aspect ratio component that's that comes from Chakra UI. Oh, cool. Yeah, right. so to actually enforce the image to be one by one. Okay, cool. Yeah. So let's wrap yeah, aspect ratio. So you can it. you can pretty much force anything, like for example, YouTube embeds or maps or images. That's nice. All right, is this using the padding hack? Yeah. Cool. All right, great. That's, yeah. That's nice but the to beauty have. is, for example, check out the ratio prop. You see, it's for example one. Right. And you can scroll down. You can see the four by three aspect ratio. It's just four divided by three, and there you go. Right. Sixteen by cool. nine. You got it. Right. That makes sense. That's a nice yeah. API. Awesome. So we can do aspect ratio. Um, mm -hmm. We'll just wrap our image in that. Yeah, basically. wrap our image into the aspect ratio, but we'll just do ratio equals one without the max width. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, and that that's pretty much it. Let's see how it re basically reflects on it. There we go. Nice. Awesome. So we got a square image now. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Let's let's continue with the others. Uh, we we got the grid item for the first right, and we didn't specify because this is the first image we wanted to you know span to three columns and also three rows right so let's do yeah let's do call span here call span to three and then row span to three nice so we should see that image a lot nice. bigger. there we go wow yeah, that was way quicker than the thought we, shape. We, we had yeah absolutely yeah this is great. Just like I mentioned. So yeah, so let's just go and, and, and do the others, right? Cool. So I can go ahead. I can do a uh, grid item. I'll drop it down from call span three uh, yeah. to just one and one, right? Yeah, uh, uh, it'll be, yeah, call span and row span will be one. Yeah, if you if you don't want to, you can, you know, yeah, just, just keep doing it. that. Yeah. But we do need to specify the call start and the row start, right? Because these are now vertical. Yeah. All right. So. So the call span is always at the right, right? So we will do four there. Call span equals four always for all of the images, right? The call span and is the, four? Yeah, it's four uh, always. But the row span is the index plus one, right? From zero until to basically one. Because we get only two items. So row span is index plus one. Nice. So this will have the first image at the first row and then the second image at the second row. Interesting. Okay. Um, objects fit cover. Copy this over. Get rid of the class name. Uh, we don't need the key here. We'll put the key here. Nice. There we go. Well, let's check it out. Okay. The image. The oh, the images are now way too big, right? I think it's the call span bit, isn't that? Oh yeah. Uh, it mm, it needs to be one. Right. Right. It's yeah. It's not the span, it's the start. So call start. Got it. Okay. Row. That's yeah. where I was confused. I was like, okay. Uh, call yeah. start. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Call okay. start and row start. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There we go. And we can see it. There, let's see it. That's nice. great. And we even get our little, I just th th threw that in. I'm sure you've, you've got a better uh, way of doing it. Thank you for that follow. Welcome. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is already looking great. Like, check it out. Like, that's what we're expecting. That's awesome. That's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, nice. Cool. Yeah. And then, I uh, guess yeah, can... I made it a button. For example, you can use just an ordinary button inside. But yeah, it's pretty much. I, I also use the aspect ratio on the button just to be, you know. Oh, for this thing. Uh, cool. So great yeah, item. Yeah, for the last one. Makes sense. Uh, I guess yeah. we can copy this because those will match. Um, yeah. So images yeah, like. Except the row start will be always three, right? Right. It's a grid item, grid item. Cool. Uh, and then you did a button. Makes sense. Button. Yeah, and the... Yeah, imported. Did you got it, yeah? Cool. And just do the row starts to three because we don't have the index right. here. Right, we'll good call. Yeah. I think that's we'll what just hard code it. Three because it's always at the bottom, yeah. Okay, yeah, and there's no I either. Okay, cool. Nice, just gotta right. make this stretch. Yeah, so let's do, uh, let's see, we can use the width and height. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, you, you didn't use the aspect ratio, so you can also wrap the button with the aspect ratio. It should oh. be, yeah, 
Oops. Should be that. All right, let's check it out. Oh, cool. There you go. Why did that make yeah, it, it fill the space? Because uh, of the padding, right? It's uh, it doesn't. Got it. It yeah. does not absolute. Uh, first, it 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 makes an absolute div. Okay. So not absolute relative div. Right. But the child side. that you put it is actually absolute and spans uh, across it. So there's the before is the padding actually. Right. Right. So it. Uh, Got it. Yeah, yeah. I was just expecting it to be the same size as itself, but okay. So that's where the max width bit comes in, because otherwise it's just going to take up the space yeah. that it that, that it can. Cool. Yeah, that makes exactly. Sense. And and you can say round it equals three XL to the bottom itself. Cool. To make it pretty much the same as the uh, image, right? Yeah. Make the other picture. And here we go. There we go. Nice. All right, cool. so we can. That's how we can do the grid, right? And it's exactly like the design, but yeah. let's make it fun now. For example, when we are on, when we are on smaller screens, I would like these three on the right to be actually below the image, right? So awesome. we can release that little space there. So Chakra UI has, uh, you know, the, for example, we are passing the values like call start equals four, and that's a value, right? Rounded equals three XL, and that's a value, right? But aside from values, Chakra UI also is configured to accept a responsive object, right? Like okay. an object where the keys are the breakpoints and the values are the actual values. Got right? it. Right. So uh, in that case, we can change. Okay. So if we are on large screen, we'll have four columns. If we are on very small screen, like or on the base screen, then we can have um i don't know one column right right yeah so let's let's start to apply these changes one by one okay so we can go yeah we can go and the grid at the top and instead of doing a string here we can pass the object inside we, we, we'll, we'll copy this because we'll need it yep that the, the value and we'll do the object now uh, okay no no, no we, yeah double object yeah so the cool. base yeah. It kind of had it actually. Let me do that again. It did show you that. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So what is it now? Uh, it's one and two. Yeah. But you can you can use this code and then go from there. Uh, is yeah. is base as big as it goes or what's base? No. It, uh, base is uh, pretty much zero pixels of width and then going up until the MD in this case, right? Got it. Okay. So base is going to be like small, small mobile. Yeah. Like it, it's yeah. the uh, smallest one. Anything below the other value, right? You do need to have a, a base defined here. Okay. Right. So, because we do need a starting point, but then, for example, in your case, from medium above, it's going to be another value, right? So, in our case, for example, we want three columns on mobile or just smaller screens, but from medium and up, we want the four. Got it. Right. So, imagine the grid. For example, the the the, the column at the right is will be gone, right? And we'll just place those at the bottom. So that means one column less for smaller screens, but then one row additional for um, for bigger screens, for, for, for smaller screens, right? Got it. Yeah. So let's, yeah, let's do the rows again. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, yeah. see, I'm going to bust out. Um... Oh, hold on one sec. Polypane is a uh, is a responsive oh, nice. browser that um, we can work with. Yeah, see, I think uh, I think I've used it briefly previously. Yeah, so let's see if we got like uh, most used sizes. Um, we 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 got to get you on this list, my man. <laughs> I'll I'll DM uh, Killian, the creator, and see if we can get you up there. Um, yeah. But yeah, so trying to. Let's check it out. Yeah. Yeah. I just see. Cause I, I, I go to polypane whenever I need to do, um, some kind of responsive mm -hmm. design just because I get to see it in a few different ways all at once. So, yeah. Um, all right. So we're seeing that we're getting it. Yeah. I mean the, we got the issues with the, with the header right now, cause it's, it's a horizontal stack, right? We didn't turn right. it 
but still, yeah, we can open, I don't know, we can open the iPad and we, we should see those below. There you go. See? It's disappearing. So something's Yeah, because up. we have we have three rows, but we do need ah, four and, rows. Th and this is still taking up all of them, so it's it's falling exactly. behind. Yeah, it. so the, yeah, three three columns, but the first image has a call span of three. So everything is uh, taken up by the first image. But yeah, let's continue cool. you know, applying yeah. these changes. And we'll we'll see it in action. Yeah. So the rows will be exactly the same, but we'll reverse the values. Instead instead of three and four, we'll do four and three, right? Okay. Because we are moving that we're basically turning that column into a row. So you're going four and three here is 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 what you're saying? No, but for the rows, for the oh, columns. For... Got yeah. it. Okay, my fault. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So just steal this, and yeah, we'll just flip the values here. Got it. Okay, because yeah, we're gonna need more rows. That makes sense. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for it. But now the positioning is still the same, right? Right. Yeah. So we can scroll down until the two images there we go right so we got the call start set to four right uh call start for the, yeah, for this one yep start to four yeah to four yeah yeah so that means it'll be always at the right but right. now for the yeah so for the base uh breakpoint or like from medium and then below we want to make it act as a row instead so we'll do i plus one is for the base and from md and up is going to remain four right got it okay oh yeah we're turning that column into a row and i plus one is the in in our original case is the row behavior right so we'll, we'll just do row behavior on the call and we'll do the row exactly like the same but we'll just flip those values for the row starts got it so so it's gonna be md4 base oh no sorry yeah. uh base base is four. going to be four yeah uh and MD... the end is going to be i plus one interesting okay yeah. let's check it out nice Does okay it? so these are th th that's a row now right the images yeah. are row is a row but if we go more than uh what was it like 765 uh, we can see that the these images turn into a column. So that's why we kind of, you know, uh, that's why we, we we flipped the values. And you're also missing the last button thingy. Yeah. Right? So you can pretty much I do the same that. thing for that as well. Cool. So that instead, instead of being plus I, it's just going to be what, four? Yeah, four and three and three and four. Yeah, exactly. Four, sorry, three, not four. Okay. Four, yeah, the four is cool, but we need to set the three. Yeah, there we go. And we should see it there. Nice. There it is, yeah. There's a button. Yeah. Cool. That's looking great. And then, and then, yeah. like, you know, we, we, of course, would do lots more where it's like as it gets smaller, you would change yeah. this from rounded Excel to rounded something else, right? But also, yeah. this hey, is. You can go <laughs> ahead and. and do it pretty much no. it's fine i mean we we definitely want to hit a few more things but also like that's a 200 pixel width so i don't think that's a very good like real world yeah. kind of thing like, like like i'm shrinking it down pretty close right so yeah, yeah not exactly. not too worried about that but then uh you see on like a widescreen or just you know a normal desktop it's it's looking good and it's responsive so that's all awesome. just baked into pretty much everything right like so like can i do the same thing with color like if i wanted to uh change yeah. that button color i can do color equals equals yeah let's like try that yeah base the... all right base uh red 500 and then yeah. medium would be gray uh, not gary that's my stepdad <laughs> <laughs> sorry gary uh so then once you go below medium Cool. All right. So that's just the responsiveness built into every single chakra component, right? Yeah. I mean, the value itself that, for example, every prop, every style prop has is a responsive value. So it, it can either be a, a hard coded one, for example, just red 500, and it right. will apply to all of the cases, or we can pass the responsive value here. 
That's really cool. That's so handy. Yeah. And uh... there's a there's another. Uh, th this is the uh, this is the object syntax, right? So right. we're passing an object with the base and MD. But there's also an array syntax. That's what well. to ask. Yeah, you have an array syntax. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you can pretty much instead of doing a base three and then four, you can pretty much say you can d define the color as an array. Yeah, so you would do like three three and then four or something like that. But it starts off with the lowest breakpoint. Okay. Um, and if if I, I wanted to skip them, would I just do like comma, comma, gray 500? Is that how that works or like? Not sure. Um, I, I tend to, yeah, I tend to use the object notation. Okay, Because uh, gotcha. it's a lot more clear, but yeah. Makes um, sense. I'm not sure if you if you can skip that one. I, have, I Honestly, I haven't tried that. But there we go, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, the uh, awesome. the this seems a bit more clear and like like I know exactly what I'm getting out of it and I don't have to remember like the different spots yeah, for the yeah. array notation. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. You, you don't have to count the elements to see what exactly. actually you know what actual breakpoint is. Yeah. Cool. All right. Nice. So we've got our image gallery. Um, do we want to super quick just add uh, a little bit of spacing between the gallery and yeah. our other component? Yeah. Why not? How do you want to handle that? So we got the grid here, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Where do we use the grid? I mean, the, the, the image gallery. Yeah, Im let's image see. gallery yeah. is this whole section here. Yeah, so let's go to the file that actually uses the image gallery. Um, and like calls it in? Sorry? So, so yeah, the, the one that calls it, yeah. Gotcha, so that's coming in through our slice zone because uh, the image gallery is a slice from Prismic, so it's just looping through okay. the package that it uh -huh. gets. For the bundle in this case yeah in this case the the slice zone does it like uh produce another uh div or it kind of so. spreads or it kind of spreads the slices yeah let me just double check i'm almost positive it just spreads those slices out and uh doesn't add any extra divs in there yeah so that's that's our section coming right from chakra okay yeah in that case let's uh let's wrap the the slice zone with a V stack and we can say the spacing will be cool. I don't know. Uh, it's 32 pixels in our case in the design. So yeah. that would be what? Eight. Eight. Cool. Yeah. And then we'll do align so. items equals stretch because by default it's centered. So any, any stack, any inner stack that hasn't been, you know, explicitly set to be full is going to be centered. Awesome. And there you go. Just like that. Yeah, it's there's it's fixed. And, yeah, and the spacing also continues below uh, right. in, in the other components here. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Really, really nice. All right, cool. So we got a couple more things to hit. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Which one do you... That's a great little solution, by the way. Um, just wrapping the, the slice zone in, in the V stack and you get some built-in spacing. Um, yeah. You can hit the cards really quick if, if, if you want. I think that one will be pretty quick. And uh, yeah. you can double back to... Like this one looks like it's gonna be a bit complicated. Like yeah, it's it's a small thing, but it's definitely pretty nuanced. Mm -hmm. I think we can hit these pretty quick. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we can do that. Cool. So that is the I think it's things to know or what's included. I forget what we called it. Uh, what's included? What's included? Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right. So uh, I I uh, you know did my crappy version uh, with just some CSS. Yeah, that's like cool. That. Of course. Um, but but I also right. did like an icon map up here so that we're uh, we're getting in food, Wi-Fi, car, and bicycle, and we're also getting in uh, green, blue, yellow from Prismic. So it's like actually, um, you oh, know, it's cool. it's so that you can go in and and design how how you want it in the CMS. So awesome. Yeah. We're, we're going to use cool. that. Yep. Yeah, we're going to use that. So cool. That's cool. All right, let's uh -huh. do it. Yeah, we can do this as a grid, for example. Cool. Again, I'll wipe this out first, and then uh, yeah, let's grab that grid. So import, but not the grid one. We'll do the simple grid because we don't have these, you know. Awesome. We'll just do simple grid. Yeah. Oh, it's helping me out. There we go. Cool. So we have a simple grid. I'll wrap everything in that. No, uh, not everything. Uh, right. The heading should stay out. Yeah, right. just that div. Nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, so let's cool. say uh, we got the columns, right? And the, the columns prop. That would be our template columns, but just it, it'll be simplified. It'll just be a value, right? Okay. But we'll also make it responsive out of the box. So we'll say, okay, uh, from large screens and up, we'll, we'll, it'll be four, right? Because we got four cards. Right. From medium screens um, up until large, right? We are going to say, th I don't know, three. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and then base and is one. The base is one. Yeah. So we can scroll, you know, on mobile, we don't actually want two columns. We just want to scroll by them, you know. Makes sense. Uh, and yeah. then do we need so, a simple grid item? Yeah, exactly. Grid item here. And it just needs a key and nothing else. Is it a grid item or a simple grid item? No, this one is a grid item. Yeah. There's cool. no simple grid item. Yeah. Because cool. it's just. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's got the key. And yeah, let's get rid of the class name. Yeah. So you're not going to need it here. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Cool. And we are going to use an aspect ratio again. And I'll tell you why. Okay. So instead of the grid item, we'll do the aspect ratio. All right. There we go. And now the ratio is going to be responsive. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. For medium and up, it's going to be one. So we, we want uh, like a nice square, right? But below medium, we want it we wanted 16 by 9. So let's do base is 16 by 9. So 6 divided by Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And now let's just wrap everything inside with a V stack. I might not be importing everything right. Uh, no, I, I am. Yeah, I probably the aspect ratio. Next charge reactor. Ah, it's oh. a single react element child. So yeah, let's wrap. Yeah, let's wrap all of the things in the V stack. In, inside aspect ratio? Yeah, exactly. So let's Hold do a V on stack. One sec. Uh, I got to ban someone. L Cooper. Sorry about that. Um, cool. So V stack here. Sorry about that. Yeah, V stack there. Uh, we're gonna say I don't know. Let's let's set the height to full because it's going to make a you know give us a problem. We'll do the justified content to space between, right? Because the icon is at the top and the text is at the bottom. Yeah, okay. let's do let's add a, a general padding of 24 pixels. That would be six P equals six, right? And now we can utilize that uh, color that you get from uh, from the back end. Right? So we can oh, say yeah, BG. Yeah, yeah uh, we can say BG equals. Cool. Right. So, and now we can use the back ticks. Right. Nice. So item dot color. And then yeah, and let's uh, do five uh, fifty. Awesome. Yeah. So let's see if that cleared itself up. We're still getting yeah, an error. Still getting we an also error. wanted to add. This stack is not defined. Oh, I didn't import it. There we yeah. go. Let's also add a rounded XL so they're uh, not rough around the edges. So the V cool. stack. Uh, to th to this V stack. Got it. Yeah, because that's yeah, where the background yeah, is. Uh, yeah. So rounded. XL. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Let's see what we get now. Uh, oh, uh, Wing Matt Dev. I think you just asked about how I'm moving things around the um, around VS Code. Give me one sec. I'll show you in just a sec. Cool. So this is what we're expecting. Yeah, green, red, blue, yellow. Yeah. Green, red, blue. Yeah, awesome. Uh, we're getting those icons nice. in. We just got to make them a little bit bigger. Uh, real quick, uh, if you hold Alt and go up, up and down in in VS Code, you're able to move things up and down. Um, and if you turn your, uh, if you turn on like Vim key bindings in Code Pen, you can do the same thing. It saves so much time. Uh, another quick thing, if if you're on the line, like you see how I don't have anything so, so selected here. Uh, if you hit Control C and then Control V, it'll paste just the whole line. So. Lots of fun tips like that. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Um, cool. So we've got this set up. Uh, we're doing this icon map thing. So we can probably do that uh, with a icon from Chakra, right? Yeah, why not? I mean, we can control the box size that way. Uh, but we do need to wrap it uh, with, with any layout. We, we can do an H stack here. 
Okay. Just enough. Yeah. Because the icon itself is not going to, we don't want the icon to, you know, to spread out to, and take up the full width. Right. Right. We want something that can control that icon to okay. take up the full width and then place the icon at the right at the, the flex start. So H stack, I think is the perfect candidate for that job. Cool. So we can do justify content flex start. So it's always on the left or on the right in, in the Arabic case. Uh, right. And also we'll do W equals full because we want to spread out, you know, the whole icon wrapper. Got so it. this this way it'll always be at the top left. There we go. It's not at the top yet, but we'll make it at the top. Yeah. Now this, yeah. Now the text at the bottom. Uh, based on the design, we can see that the icon is at the top left and the text is at the bottom left, right? So we'll wrap the text. Yeah, we'll wrap that text in a in a V stack, right? Okay. Yeah. So, so we'll. Stack. Yeah. Let's do a V stack there. We'll do flex one, uh, on the V stack because we want the remaining space to be taken up by that flex by that v stack but we are going to align i mean we're going to justify the uh we're going to justify the items now justify the content to flex end so they're at the bottom right cool because this is essentially flex column is is what v stack yeah. like a shorthand for got it so then, yeah. yeah the that that x axis is going up and down cool yeah. Nice. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, we can do also align items to flex starts, so yeah. they're always at the, you know, at the left. Cool. Nice, and that should do it. Nice. There it is. And yeah. There we go. So should we pop some text uh, things in for this? Yeah. Why not? I mean, we can we can set. Uh, there's the first one is a heading, right? Because ah, it's a bit right. bolder and also uses the Joseph and Zans font. Got it. Yeah, uh, we, we'll do size equals SM uh, for the heading, and we'll do font size is SM for the rest of the text. Uh, is si so font size? No, like that? no, size. Yeah, size equals. Oh, okay. They're, yeah, they're different. So Got the it. size is going to be small, SM. Okay. Yeah, but the font size of the text is going to be SM, not the size. Sorry, I'm confused. Um, so... Yeah, the. Yeah, the okay. heading uh, has its own like uh, uh, size scale. Ah, right? okay. So yeah. so heading I mean, small is bigger than text small. Yeah, it's bigger than text small. Yeah, that just makes by sense, a, a, a little bit. Yeah, it, we it. could I mean try to do it, but there'll be like different values. So yeah, I import heading. I'm sure that's what it is. Yep, that's what it's yelling at me for. Uh, got it. Yeah. Nice. Okay, and nice. it's using that font. Yeah. Nice. Uh, looks like we need a gap there. We're getting it. We're getting there. Looking mm -hmm. good. Cool. Um, what should we add? Yeah, the next? gap is. Did we, did we did we add the gap? It's like eight on the simple grid. I no, we didn't add it. No, yeah. Simple grid. Yeah, let's let's do gap. Eight. Cool. Let's check it out now. Looking good. Um, and then, yeah, just the icons left pretty much, right? Because the rest is pretty yeah. much spot on. And how do we render the, the icon in the data that we have? Uh, so is it like a JSX element? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we can churn. Yeah. Saying. Let's churn this to just reference the, the icon, but not return a JSX element. Yeah. And then we can do the S thingy. Cool. Nice. And That's then uh, right here. We have icon, right? Yep. As, As the icon, we can do bo box size for the icon. Box size will be 10. So it'll be like 40 pixels. So box size? Yeah. So You're missing does, does that just handle? Just yeah, but does, does that just handle uh, height and, and width? So Yeah. Okay. Uh, doesn't. Ah, uh, here we go. That's what you're talking about. There That's go. cool. It's... I've I've never seen that kind of thing. That that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think nice. the box size. Yeah, there we go. It's just like perfect. Yeah. Uh, I think the box size uh, does the the box size uh, HTML attribute of the actual SVG that's inside. 
Oh, that's a thing. I don't. Let's check it out. So, okay, it 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 looks like it's doing height and width just okay. at the same thing. The width and height, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I thought, yeah, it was gonna. Yeah. All right, cool, yeah. That's great. Um, and then I guess we just put another heading here as H two. Yep. Yeah, that would be the large uh, size. So size equals large, and that's pretty much it. Cool. Oh, and now let's also fix the uh, the spacing between them. We can just wrap them into a V stack, or you can do a margin top of the simple grid. You know, it's it's pretty much. You know, so I guess empty. we can make this section a V stack, right? Yeah, I mean, we we still have it. You know, uh, you would you would like to. Um, Avoid using the V stack as the, you know, as a means, as a way to control the spacing. For example, if you only have two items, right? Right. Because it does introduce, uh, and you know, another layer into the DOM hierarchy. Okay. Right? So if if we have two items, we can just do margin top, for example. Okay. If we are, uh, you know, some enumerating, some or mapping out an array or a list or anything, then we can do. Uh, you know the the stack components because we it. don't yeah we we don't want to go to each element and do okay margin top margin top margin top then we want to change it you just have to go and yeah got it but yeah, uh, that's, that's what do we want for our margin it. top then I put ten but that might be too much maybe maybe six cool. yeah like twenty four pixels six. yeah it it is it is a uh, premium thing i highly recommend trying the uh the the demo the demo zane it's uh it's good software um but yeah i recommend polypane i like it a lot uh cool so what's included things to know house rules health and safety all right so uh what do we want to hit next because that that came together real quick like that's looking great yeah, yeah. I don't know, but I mean, what, what, what do you like? Well, I guess we are kind of over time, but I mean, um, is there anything else that we wanted to talk about? Um, I'm guessing using forms, like like th these selects, if we can kind of like check out the API for that, I'd be curious. So this would be a select? Initially, yeah. I mean, uh, it's, not, it's not a custom select. Uh, it right. just looks like, for example, it uses the native options in there, as you can see. Right. Right. So it renders the the native, you know, OS picker for you there. We still don't have that, you know, uh, way of customizing the items and how they would look like. Okay. Yeah, but there is a menu component that I envision to be used here, right? So you can check out the menu instead. Okay. Yeah. So this uh, uses a menu button thingy, right? Ah. We can use. Oh, that's nice. And, I like that little... Yeah, and now you can customize these or actually in you know instead of rendering a menu list, maybe you can just do a, like a whole you know designed uh, section there. But you cannot really use this as a, as a, you know replacement for select because it's not really a select, right? The browser will not know that it's actually a select. Got it. Okay. So yeah, so, it, it, visually it might give you the. You know, it, it, it might definitely work, but semantically it will not, so. Got it. Well, I do I do like that there's some navigation with either keyboard or with the letters. That That's super nice. Like that yeah. little touch is great. Um, Matt in the chat says, any tips slash tools for accessibility testing Chakra built UIs? Uh, sure doing accessibility testing? Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, I haven't done that pretty much. I know that, for example, uh, Mark, if he's still watching, uh, he spends a you know he spends some uh, big amount of time to actually go through and uh, along with Sage to make the UI tests for every component, um, you know, to to ensure that we get all of the accessibility props and attributes set right away. Although I'm not sure about the accessibility testing, and I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, by doing accessibility testing, like screen readers and stuff, or like visual accessibilities with, I'm not sure what, yeah, what, so... what do you mean by uh, accessibility testing? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I think, 
that it would be something like Axe or something along those lines. But um, yeah, if, if accessibility testing is not like your specific forte, that's, you know, it's, it's not mine yeah, either. Yeah. So don't, don't, don't sweat it. Just, uh, yeah, we're not <laughs> yeah. exactly sure, Matt. Um, ben might have some uh, great just general accessibility tips for testing UIs. Um, and I mean, in terms of just like other general tools, um, yeah, I, I could definitely get you a list, but I'm not exactly sure uh, what I, I I don't know enough about the space to know. Um, okay, uh, mostly screen reader stuff. I'm just curious what kind of stuff to watch out for, but I get them pretty good spot. No, it's all good. That's what the questions are for. Like like Matt, I appreciate the questions and uh, what you know that like you know if 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 we don't know them, we're just gonna go. Ah, I'm I'm not sure, but that's a great question. Uh, we'll look into it, right? So um. Yeah, uh, do you have a chakra Discord? Because maybe that'd be a great place to follow up. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean it's it's right there in the cool. navigation bar. Right? Awesome. Yeah. So if 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 you um if you wanna hop in there, there 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 might be someone in in the chakra Discord that might be able to answer that question a bit better than us. Uh, but no, it, it's a great question. It's an important question. Um, and yeah. I I love that. I I love that chakra is making that such a core tenant of uh the framework so i i i think it's wonderful um and man so uh we are we are short on time but i do want to kind of pull out the aha kind of like here's here's what it is uh at the end so like you went through not only did you design it uh but you went through and actually coded it out uh, built this thing out. It is uh, responsive. Let me pull it over to Polypane uh, just to kind of show it off a bit more. Um, it's it's uh, what? It, uh, shoot. Hold on. No, I I tried to hit the X, but Polypane thought I was trying to install the update. Hold on nice. one sec. Re reopening it. <laughs> uh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. So let's go to the horizontal. Um, and we can see it on all these different layouts. So this came out awesome. I don't think I dropped it in the chat just yet. Let me do that real quick. Uh, for an yeah. horror UI for sell app. Um, oh, did I just select everything? Yeah, you can also drop the, the GitHub link as well in case, oh, you know, yeah. if anyone wants to just, you know, dig in and, you know, pick apart all the components. Yeah. Yeah, let me do that. Um, ba -ba -ba. For an horse UI. Hold on one sec. Uh, Try to tab around just the right way. Um, but yeah, this came out awesome. Uh, really just phenomenal showcase of just how quickly you can build out stuff with, with Chakra. Um, all the stuff that's built in, like honestly, I, I wasn't expecting the CSS grid implementation to be that solid. Uh, the closer you get to actual CSS grid, because it's so good, it's so powerful. I hate when it's abstracted away into being like powerless, right? Like if, yeah. if you only give me the option to set the number of columns and that's yeah. it, like I, I feel like the simple grid is what most other uh, UI frameworks have implemented and then they stop where the actual grid is... Uh, so powerful with the fact that we can go ahead and specify um, real CSS grid values. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, and then we, we get this really, really clean, um, uh, you know, essentially built in media queries without having to declare them over and over and over. Um, yeah. The responsive ones. Yeah. 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 This is just a really cool way to work. Uh, and knowing that these are like bulletproof buttons that I'm pulling off the shelf, these that they're bulletproof form elements, like form elements are things that I try to always reach for something because I know that there's so many accessibility considerations that need to go into good forms that the fact that I can reach for something like Chakra um, and feel comfortable that my app is going to be... Um, more accessible, better tested than it would be without it, um, especially for things like forms for me. Uh, and 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 then modals, like we didn't even get into all the modals and all the yeah. alert dialogues. Like you, yeah, no, there's you, like a, 
a lot more that we haven't covered. But yeah, yeah. We, I don't think it's like possible to go through uh, unless we do a twelve-hour live stream. A, then a we streamathon, can go right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But like, yeah, <laughs> building a basic drawer that's accessible. Uh, I don't, I don't want to do it. I, I, I know I'm going to mess it up, right? Like, I never want to roll my own basic drawer. I, I never want to yeah. roll my own things for this stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, check, for, check it yeah. out. Uh, you can, for example, uh, control. You, you, you can you can set the the element ref of the uh, of the element that you would like to receive focus immediately after the, for example, the drawer opens, right? And right. after it closes, yeah. Focus on specific element. That's go. fantastic. Yeah, create user, yeah. and then there it is. Look, it, it focused right yeah, where it was going to be. You start, yeah, you can start typing away, and then tab will throw you to the URL, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and you can just hit enter, and basically, you're going to fill out this form without actually touching, you know, the 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 mouse or the mouse track. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, like honestly, I I use this app, and there's like a little chat button. I hit the chat. It doesn't focus on the actual chat thing that opens up in the side drawer. I have to go over and click it. Yeah. And it drives me crazy and every click it day. Again, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so small stuff like that. It means the world. Because yeah, if if you aren't using a mouse, then uh, it's it's a real pain. Um, all this stuff is is just really uh, so handy to just reach for a an, an accessible. Um, battle-tested version of it, right? So exactly, yeah, this is just great. You've you've got such a great selection of things, and then these hooks, like use clipboard, is a really cool one. Like lots and lots of great stuff here. Um, use outside clicks so you can detect if someone clicked outside, like a modal or whatever else. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is just such a yeah. like. Like I get why people love it. I get why people like rave about it. So. Uh, thank you so much for walking us through it. Thank you so much for building this with us. Um, can't can't thank you enough. Uh, is there anything else that you want to plug? You want to talk about or uh, say uh, any any place that people should go next besides like the docs or or is it is it the docs if, if they want to get really good with chakra? Yeah, I mean the docs are pretty much you know uh, very rich when it comes to you know. Uh content and what props you can expect and everything but i can give you like a little tip uh yeah. like a bonus tip for example let's let's see uh because we we created our own variant like right right before but what if you for example don't want to create a variant you just want to overwrite a certain um a certain property of a certain component right okay so for example let's say you want to go to the input um uh, no you can go to the yeah we got the button instead of variance we can do um uh, base style right so that would be the base style of the button right but now chakra ui has like two two different types of components there are single parts single part components and then also multi-part components right right and if you try to for example overwrite the uh i don't know overwrite the text of the input right so we always want to have green text let's Let's imagine okay. that's the design requirement for every input in our app to have a green text, right? So why bother adding a uh, prop to every input? We can just overwrite the input, uh, you know, as it is, and we'll say just the the text will be green. But now there's an issue here because the multi uh, the multi the input is a multi-part component, right? And you right. would not know that immediately because all you can see is just a, like a little input box, and that's it, right? But it also has um, it also has like an um, add-ons right like there's a, a left that you can go there yeah there is uh left and right add-ons that you can style right you can uh no th th that's that's pretty much here but you can yeah there we go now right, for example got you it. got the prefix there or you have Input uh, so these are add-ons right exactly now those are all part of the input component right if you if you were to override it it will not work right and usually People come to Discord and they'll tell us, you know, why doesn't it work? Because I'm overriding the color and setting it to green, right? Yeah, but the thing is, you need to specify that you're overriding, overriding the color of the field to green, right? And if you scroll up, way at the top, there's a, a button called View Team Source, the second ah. one, right? Now, so uh, let's see now. Uh, where are we? Get color, base style, size. Okay, can you scroll down a bit? 
We should see the parts here. Border color, variant outline. There's the add-on, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, let's go. Let's go. Let me just find it real quick. Yeah. Because, yeah, it, it needs to have like a part. Uh, part style object, this? No, it's not. It's not that. Got it. Parts, parts, keys. Let's see something that we know that it actually the the parts are inside. But the thing is that they're pretty uh, hidden in that case. Uh, can you go way at the bottom and you can see the default exports? Yeah. Parts, parts, yeah. keys. Yeah. So the the parts here. Uh, will tell you if the, for example, if the component is multi-part or single part. If it's a single part, it will not contain any parts, right? Got it. Okay. Yeah. So when you are going to overwrite the, uh, when you're going to overwrite the, uh, you know, the either the add-ons or you know, the any property, you. Yeah, you need to uh, define which part are you overriding that, you know, uh, that property of, right? Because in this case, for example, the input, it usually doesn't have any add-ons, right? And you would think that it's, it's a single part, but it's actually a multi-part component. And that's why you can't actually hit that property and override that property because you're not specifying which part you're overriding that property to, right? Got it. So how do we hit that? Yeah, so that's like a... Uh, well, yeah, you can see that there's the, the, you can see the parts there, right? Right. And you can see the parts as from the an anatomy package that we have at the top. Uh, but yeah, it, it's probably better if you like either input anatomy, right? Got it. As parts. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see those parts in the anatomy po uh, package, but the, Check it out. You can see that the base style on line nine is being defined here, right? And you're probably trying to uh, override that, right? Got you it. need to, yeah, in, inside of the base style, instead of just doing color equals red immediately, you need to specify the parts. So you need to do field and then color equals to red, right? So that where we are getting into that part and overriding that property. Okay. So it gets a little bit tricky once there's multi parts, um, but yeah. as, as, as long as you're aware of that, um, you can pretty much customize everything with this, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. And Manny, thank you well, for yeah, uh, hosting. That that's a uh, super kind. Good, good, good to see you, Manny. Um, yeah, no, that's awesome. Uh, and the, you got some guides. You've got resources. Um, mm -hmm. This is fantastic. Yeah, like it seems like you've got a whole bunch of stuff that makes it easy for someone to uh, pick it up and run with it. So this is great. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We also started a YouTube channel. Uh, nice. We try to, you know, push some videos as much as we can, right? And I started this uh, design versus dev challenge uh, series where I pretty much do this, right? Uh, but yeah, you, as you can see uh, at the bottom there, these are like, I got only two videos for now, but like they're like 20 minutes and cool. uh, 17 minutes. Yeah. And it's it's basically this, right? So I'm I'm picking up a design, but I'm even doing, uh, yeah, that's like me in the forest. Yeah, it's cool. But yeah, uh, I'm doing a design, and I'm doing it in chakra, right? Uh, so you can see that there's a design. Uh, nice. Okay, I so you find something yeah. cool and dribble, and then you recreate it. That's that's a great idea. Yeah, I mean, I, I try to reach out to designers, right? So I'm, I'm waiting on them to reply. I might even want to start designing my own things. Because, yeah, not, cool. not everyone sees my messages and everything. But, yeah, uh, pretty much I, I'm i doing something like this, just awesome. like we did now. Yeah, I'm just grabbing a design and I'm redoing everything in in Chakra. Very cool. And it's also yeah, very fast forwarded, right? Yeah. So these videos aren't meant to, you know, for you to follow along, although you can if you'd like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's yeah, always it, it, the slow yeah. it down button, right? But this is cool. Yeah. So there's lots of good resources for people to learn how to build with Chakra is is yeah. what I'm saying. Awesome. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you for coming on. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me make sure that we share out your uh, your Twitter. Uh, 
N I K O L. Yep, there we go. It's just your name backwards, right? Yep. Awesome. Um, yeah, and man, thank you so so much, chat. Uh, please give a big round of applause um, to Lazar. I hope I'm saying that as close to possibly correct as, as I can. I know I'm botching it though. Um, but yeah, thank you so so much, um, chat. Anything else before we we go? Any questions? Um, there is is Twitter. Hit them up, and uh, yeah, we will see you. I, th I think we're going to do some solo streams this week, um, but we're going to have, yeah, Matt, thank you for being here. Good to see you. Um, we're going to have Debbie O'Brien first thing next week. Um, it's kind of a, a light light week this week with just guests, but we got a lot of good people booked. Uh, I'm really excited for you to see the people that we're bringing in. Uh, fantastic shows like this one coming up, so uh, please follow if you're not already following. And uh, yeah, thank you once again for being here. We'll hang in there though. We're going to go rate someone fantastic. And uh, yeah, hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye. Thank you guys.